was a couple in that first album, because he's a he's a big yeah. Like um, probably like Milton Size. He just doesn't have all bots. But um, where was I going with that? Oh, they turned they turned around, came in like after they bought like in two weeks. He said they were on the floor, and then they hired him as a consultant. For you. <laughs> yeah, like, so I was doing a consultation, like, I slept in today, but I got all this stuff for the team. <laughs> so I can, I can understand why I was just saying, like, you know what, there's, somebody might just screw something up for or whatever, might as well just get my money. Like, yeah, we're going to sell hives. For land, machinery, and land. Yeah, that's true. You can't get anything else. David yeah, Trigger at Milton was telling me they got two brand new choppers. And I said, when did you get those? And he's like, oh, they just came in. I don't know that means they bought it. And then they just shipped it. Like, once a year. Shaking, fellas. Hey, you got your extra bottle, okay? No, I don't want to hear it, man. Set them up here for him. Thank you. Your popcorn, you guys can share. Oh, man. <laughs> Only eat it while you're on. If you want more, I'll go get more. Oh, uh, I just wanted to tell you about that uh, things that off break is we're, we're doing so well. Now, with that being said, we need to share the mega popcorn amongst three people. Fuck, I didn't know you wanted it. You want more? No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to get another dime. Cover up all your pockets. This is what happens when Ray doesn't need a salesman. He hands out something for free, and then somebody's like, like, like well, Where's mine? You got this in they give him a free shit, it's a double XL, and they're like, I want a medium. <laughs> like, Get out of here! Good evening and welcome to Edgar High School. Welcome to Wild Cats here this evening as we get sent to the podcast once again. High School football. Brandon, can you see if somebody's over there? Because I just lost internet. Battle of the Titans of the Maryland Conference. It's coming. Um, so, uh, when you say like epic footage, like stuff that we want to see or players that you should focus on? Oh, this game. I was just telling me that I kind of have a gut feeling that Kobe will get the slam on this win, but it's not going to be super good. It wouldn't surprise me if something bad. Okay, no, we're we're not gonna be able to do Facebook. All right. 
It just doesn't have the bandwidth right now. It's only giving me about three up. Oh, that's a one star. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, I know it's still finding its stuff. It's fine. It takes like a photo, but in the first 15 minutes, you get access to like 20 satellites. The five hours, I have access to all the 100 percent satellites. If that's the case, yeah. But I mean, it'll only improve over the first five hours. How long do you think that system? Do you think that system will persist? Do you think that there's a real chance that something's going to hack or some kind of way to start shooting them down? So we're actually cleaning off the satellite and pushing to the land module in my black hole. Alright, I go to work. Hey, you right. good out there, all right? Bye. Steven, are you ready for us yet or what? Yeah. Alright, load up. We're seven minutes in. Oh, uh, where's my sheet? Can I sheet down there? Sheet. God damn it. I see no sheet. Oh. Wait, where'd you have it? Let's see if this is it. Oh. No, you can have it. No, is it underneath here? No, I probably got it in my pocket. Just give me a second. There we go. Oh, I got this on my picture. No, Matt, I don't want to concern you, but I lost I... my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sheet! Oh. All right. Which one is which? It doesn't matter. There's a hornet. Welcome to the hornet's nest. Oh, this one is not mine. That is for certain. <laughs> I can hear you in my left ear. Um, I can hear you better than I could hear you last time. Oh, I can just... Can you hear me good now, or am I yeah. loud? Steven? Hey, everybody, Matthew. Only can hear four... Hornet's Nest? Uh, On focus? focus? Man, that was a rough first take. Hey, everybody, Matthew Olmican here for <laughs> the Hornets, accompanied by Wade Olmican and our good friend, Stephen Akinek of Sports on Focus. And we're coming to you live from Edgar, Wisconsin, home of the Edgar Wildcats here at Wildcat Field. Um, Wildcat Field. Yeah, I would go with that. We're in the middle of the season, game five of the 2022 season. And wouldn't you know it, in great weather, in a great location, we have a matchup for the ages. A rematch of last year. The 2022 Marywood champions, Colby Hornets, taking on the perennial contenders, the Peruge Marywood champions, recently dethroned by the Hornets, the Edgar Wildcats. And just like last year, this is set up to be a showdown for conference dominance. Not meaning that this is going to dictate who's going to be at the top of the conference at the end of the season, but rest assured that it's going to be these two teams near the end that are going to be fighting for that conference tile. And you got two powerhouses meeting underneath the Friday Night Lights. You couldn't stage a better high school football game. I agree. It's uh, perfect weather. A little, little sticky out, but it's good football weather right now. So when Wade says good football weather, you know, feel, it was showering a little bit, so we don't have, like, the wet field conditions. Nobody's losing their footing out there. And, yeah, it's, it's one of those air conditions where it's just, like, it feels like it's hot outside, but you have, like, this little bit of breeze, this 6 to 8 mile per hour wind, and it has, like, this kiss of cool air like you're in the air conditioning. Yeah, it's perfect weather. Well, we don't know how much rain came here before because it was raining this afternoon. So the field's conditions could be a little slick for them. We just don't know that because people were mopping up their seats as they were coming into the stadium here. 
it's from all the sweat from the nervous fans. <laughs> it's not so much the heat, it's the humidity. It's just the gosh darn humidity. I mean, so, oh, looking down at the field, actually, you can see some bare ground that's dry already down on the sidelines. So I think we're going to be pretty good. That's what I mean. Like, it seemed like it was very incremental. Like, I heard Pittsville got dumped. We barely had uh, rain on our windshields at Colby. And Wade was talking about that before in our Facebook Live that you can find on the Hornet's Nest at Facebook, where the, the storm system kind of, like, really hard, hugged hard northeast as it traveled. Yeah, we just just missed it. So I think uh, I don't think the heavy stuff's going to come down for a while yet. <laughs> so, you know, we got three minutes to go before the game starts. I think this would be an excellent time for everybody that's tuning in to kind of give like an early preview of some of the things as you're watching this game that you would want to, you know, have some background knowledge on. What are some players to watch out for? So, Wade... I'm going to put you on the random spot. Why don't we start yeah. with Colby? You know, gut reaction. You got people viewing at home. What do I want to watch with this Colby team? So the biggest thing is I'm, I'm a fan of the pass. I don't know if Colby's a fan of the pass, but I'm a fan <laughs> of the pass. All right. So I'm, you know, Tucker Roo had a really nice long, long field. You know, we love throwing bombs for some reason instead of these little five yard outs off of it. So Mattering on if we can spread the field, that's going to obviously help our run game off of it because we are run dominant. All right, so we threw a long bomb. Takaru had a fantastic catch off of it. If we can get some more routes coming through the inside with Robita, that's what I would be looking for. You know, maybe we're going to have him on the outside, you know, just as bait off of it. Maybe we can get some five yard, 10 yard out off of it. I would love to see that out of Kobe this year because Let's we're going to need to get that as we get into these bigger. Um, bigger schools or bigger kids that we're going to play against and they're evenly matched against this Edgar team so us just dominating at the line of scrimmage because we're bigger isn't probably going to be our advantage tonight we're, we've got some fast running backs with Mateo and um <laughs> I was going to spell his last Kaden's name Kaden's going to be upset at you now <laughs> I was going to say one because I was thinking of Mateo's last name that was when my you problem. said fast Kaden. running backs you didn't list him first <laughs> No, with those two coming out of the backfield, they they usually have quite a big hole to run through. But once they get into the open field, they're big kids, they're fast kids, they're hard to bring down off of it. So being able to have a little bit of spread, a little bit of variability to the offense would give them an easier time. So we're not just pounding, 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 pounding five-yard gains off of it. Because last game, they were used to 20-yard runs. You know, you get tired that way, but you don't get beat up that way. Absolutely. Well, that was pretty thorough. A lot more thorough than I thought. So You're we welcome. Got we got ourselves a minute, so quickly, let's talk about, I'll talk about Edgar. Edgar has got quite the pedigree. You know, the resume speaks for themselves. They got the culture, they got the coaching staff. And they always have a huge, for being a Division Seven school especially, huge turnout of kids that come out and get committed to this program, get committed to, like, how Edgar football is played. And how Edgar football is played, being physical and running the ball. So their top rusher is Carter Butt, that's number 21, racking up 400 yards on the season and seven touchdowns. And accompanied by him also, we have uh, Colby Weisenberger with 122 yards, but it's basically the Carter Butt show. He also is the top tackler. He's a big p component of that defense. And did you know, Wade, this Edgar team, it's got double digit sacks on the season. Young part of the season, they played some pretty hard teams. They got 11 sacks to Colby's four. And they have themselves three forced fumbles, three interceptions, and that's what I mean. That kind of physicality on the rushing game is also played out into their defense. So this is going to be, like you're talking about, like it's, it's a rumble in the jungle. It's going to be a fight for that line of scrimmage. And it's going to be up to see which offense is more dynamic than the other one to, to, to skirt past that big, big chunk of defense. We still talking, Steve? No, we're going to turn it over to the PA announcer for starting lineups and national Fantastic. Fantastic. the expectation to exhibit positive and respectful behavior. For the enjoyment and respect of all in attendance, your cooperation to demonstrate a high ideals of sportsmanship is expected and greatly appreciated. I never see that. And now, announcing the starting offense for Colby. And running back, senior number two, Taven Rue. And quarterback, senior number four, Tucker Meyer. 
tight end, senior, number five, Caden Weezy. And running back, senior, number 21, Caden Healy. And running back, senior, number 27, Mateo Lopez. Offensive lineman, senior, number 54, Oscar Zamora. Offensive lineman, senior, number 55, Tucker Gross. Offensive lineman, senior, number 56, Grant Ulrich. Offensive lineman, junior, number 71, Braxton Meyer. Offensive lineman, senior, number 77, Logan Stitton. Wide receiver, senior, number 84, Nathaniel Robina. The Hornets are coached by Jim Hagen, assisted by Robbie Smazel, Logan Rosemeyer, Jimmy Flink, John Kleinschmidt, and Henry Sanchez. And now, announcing the starting defense for your Edgar Wildcats. Linebacker, senior, number three, Keegan Hartway. at midfield and the Edgar Pep Band under the direction of Mr. Dennis Webb plays our national anthem. Nothing coming through out there? This is the anthem, just keep it till I tell you it's over. We have players out at the center of the field unveiling an American flag here that is the delay before they start playing the national anthem. Could you say that any louder? Color guard is ready to raise the flag over on the far side of the field here. That's pretty cool. This is something that gives us that.
wonder who would have gotten that idea of doing that. So they had the seniors out there for both squads unfurl that flag while there was another play-by-play -play person talking very loudly <laughs> during the whole thing. Where do you find a flag that big? Is that like an old Perkins flag or something? I... <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> that that is like the size of a Perkins flag. It is huge. It's well, we could probably gauge exactly. It's, uh, it's approximately 15 yards long and about uh, eight yards wide. Yeah, you know, flags emporium. dot com. Yeah, that is a huge flag. <laughs> you know what? You know what's really cool is like, yeah, you go on some of these uh, these like uh, flag sites. It's amazing how big those can be. But anyway. That was really kind of unique and intriguing, and I'd be really kind of curious who came up with that idea because that was pretty cool, having all the seniors together. Well, here we go. There's kind of like an eerie silence. Usually there's a little bit of uh, chatter. Music. There's some music. <laughs> At Colby, yeah, you're right. We have some <laughs> tunes cranking, but there's kind of like a, there's a silence here. Edgar getting um, jacked up, ready to take on the field, and here comes Colby. Maybe it's it's a, a heavy atmosphere. It's the calm before the storm. I think the barometric pressure has got you off. I think that's what it is. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a heavy dew point right now. I think it's the barometric pressure of the situation. This is like, <laughs> you know, this is like, ah, oh, it's going to be exciting football. That's all there is to see. And you all get to join with us. Watch it live as it happens from the comfort of your home and on, on your device. All right. Edgar, looks like Welcome they're going to the kick off. Edgar going to get set ready to kick off. Wade, you by my side. My binoculars. <laughs> with, uh, looking <laughs> I, for his binoculars. There we go. He's my spotter. Steve, on the camera and on commentary stats. Mateo on the and the game is underway. Mateo getting the opening kickoff. Whoa, gets stood up. Tries to fight for that extra two yards, and he's going to get it. Going to get brought down just past the 30-yard line. Up, taken down by number 23, Affleback. Affleback on the stop, number two rusher on the number two rusher on the Edgar Wildcats. So he took it from the 15, brought it all the way to the 38-yard line, if I'm correct. No, well, they went for that tackle. He went right for the ball. He wasn't really wrapping up the legs or anything. He was looking for the strip right off the bat. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to, to Lopez the up the left side. Not going to find a lot of room. Gains himself about a yard. Actually, gains himself about three yards. Looks like stencil on number 53 for Edgar on the tackle. Everybody knew it was going to be hard fought yards, but. So this is not a surprise. But it is just the early start of the game. All right. Second Rue down and seven wide. for the Hornets. Shotgun formation. Goes Ooh. to Ely. He's going to try his bread and butter, which is running on the far right side. Dodges two tacklers and can't get past the third as he gets shoved out of bounds. Looks like Carter Butt and somebody else. Carter Butt got uh, the initial push out on that, but uh, he dodged uh, successfully dodged two other Edgar players there coming around the corner there, bringing up third and long, it looks like. Oh, you could call that shortish, I guess. It's only four yards. <laughs> two. Just, just like oh. what Wade said, third and shortish. It was a big five-yard gain right there for Healy, and it's going to give third and manageable for the Hornets. It's going to be a tight formation. Rue on the far right-hand side. Wow, they got Healy, Healy on the left and the Lopez corner. in the back. Meyer surveying under center. Here's the snap. Quick hand off to Lopez, and he's going to fight for that first down marker. He might have got face masks there. Goal. I don't see Weezy a play got it, but... Uh, waving his finger like he feels like, yep, we got that. Wow, he got... And the chain gain is not going to agree. It's... Oh my gosh, fourth and a shoelace. That was kind of surprising because I really thought that was a first. Oh, there you go. They must have overheard um, me talking. Here comes the um, chain game. They got nothing else to do. Might as well, you got brought these chains. You might as well use them. <laughs> <laughs> they made me put on this orange vest that I never get to do anything. All right, well, let's see how tight they can pull these things. That looks like... That's oh, a first yeah, down. First down. There it is. <laughs> it doesn't get much closer than that. Will Hackle was trying to say, yep, fourth down, but the refs did not agree. It is first and ten, Colby. Mateo with some hard running. Healy only getting one carry so far on that very, very oh. first um, set of downs. Interesting. 
Yeah, I wonder if they're just trying to survey uh, what uh, side they're going to exploit. Because Healy usually likes coming down, running uh, you know closer to the, the fancer. He likes running off to his right-hand side. And Lopez is not that, he's not afraid of downhill running. Tight formation, Rue off the ball a little bit. And it's going to go to Ooh, him on the far the outside. He's got wall blockers. Cuts it back into the inside. Ooh. Ran out of blockers. But he's going to gain himself, looks like about... Yeah, he's going to get himself about three yards on the carry. Affleback slowed him down behind the line of scrimmage there, and then he was brought down by the rest of uh, the Edgar uh, Wildcats there. But uh, number 23 on a good uh, good slowdown yeah, there. Yeah, so he number 23, up. sophomore for your Wildcats. He's got a bright, bright future. Like I said, he's second uh, top rusher on this Edgar squad, and he's a big component of this defense as well. Oh, maybe we're going to get a second pass Second down here. and seven. Here come the Hornets. Nope. And there's an early flag. And Colby is pointing at Edgar. And Edgar is saying, no, no. Was it me? Two guys in motion. Off What's sides. the call? Is that what it was? Yeah, he motioned towards his belt buckle. So it's usually <laughs> offsides. <laughs> wow, and that is going to push Colby ahead. Penalties were a huge problem for Colby at their last game against Loyal. So it's really nice to see that this has been clean for him so far and the first flag thrown, it's nice to see that it goes against the opposition. Edgar Gain giving up some ground here. Second down and short for the Hornets. Blast up the middle as Healy gets stood up and he fights for an extra set of yards Whoa. and refuses to quit. The ball almost came out there at the end. I did see that. There, um, <laughs> Edgar was trying to punch that one out. That is for sure. And that's going to move the chain gain again. First down, Colby. It's kind of hard to give uh, credit, but it looks like that uh, Shewitt boy, number nine for Edgar, was the finally one to push uh, Healy down to the ground. That was a massive carry there by, by Healy. Setting up a nice first down and 10. Handoff. Lopez. Lopez up the gut. Wrapped up immediately by number 53, Stencil. Stencil Edgar. shed his blocker off. Got a hold of him. Going to gain himself about, yeah, just shy under three. He's going to gain himself a healthy two-yard gain on there. Second down and ten. All runs have been heavily contested so far. But Colby is gaining. But if you're Edgar, you've been bottling up this hardcore running offense, this explosive offense, very well so far. Well, it's interesting that they keep attacking the middle here. I wonder if they're just trying to get uh, that inside line tired out or what. And then there you go, Healy tripped up. Much to the delight of the Edgar fandom here as he falls. He falls and gains a half a yard. Uh, wrapped up uh, almost down. immediately by number 61, Fletcher Wyland for Edgar. Wyland with the big stop. Uh, stunning sophomore for this Edgar defense. Third down and long. Well, Wade, what would you, what would you count Stop on Stop running it up the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I formation, Robita off to the right. Far white. Tevin Rue on the wing. Fake handoff. Uh oh, he's getting pressure. Here comes the pass. Oh, oh. Tevin. Oh, he had Tevin wide open. Like wide open. And it overthrows him and it's going to fall incomplete and that's going to be a fourth down. And yeah, Hagan's not taking any chances. He's going to bring out the punting squad here on a fourth and seven. Ball on the 39 yard line. Somebody missed the blocking assignment. They, <laughs> butt came in there unblocked. Unblocked. Just chasing him not, down. Not convinced, didn't go after Healy, didn't, nothing. It was going right at the quarterback. Yeah, he he was had a, his assignment and he did it well. And that kind of, yeah, that kind of rushed the measure for Tuck, for Tucker. Bros with the big leg, set back to punt. 21 and 11, back to receive for Edgar. That's going to be Carter and who else? Whoa. Oh, that's Carter and Tegan out in the backfield and it's going to roll out of bounds. Uh-oh, there's a flag the on the play. He's kicking it. Flag down near where Bros booted it. Kind of uh, near where the ball was snapped. That's usually holding is usually what that one ends up being. Official crews waiting for them to convene together. Don't have to. They're wearing walkie-talkies. Oh, they do? We got their walkie-talkies chatting with each other. Oh, he's talking to the... Do you copy, Ghost Rider? And the call is, Still I am in just suspense. 
holding against Colby. They're going to repunt it. Why would you repunt that when he just kicked that all the way into the end zone? Well, that's so in most cases in high school play, 10 yards push back on a punt, this is a big deal because then you're gaining field position. But like what Wade just said, Bros is going to boot this one into the end zone again. Right? Or he should. I think, I think Edgar wants it. Yeah. I think Edgar wants a chance to return. I was to say, I think they just want another crack at it to see if they can just gain some yardage on here. Let's see if, uh, you know, get Tegan to uh, run underneath us a little bit. Or well, he's got to make it to the 20 at least to make this a worthwhile venture. Button straight. Sends a booming one. And he's going to field it. At the one yard uh, line, fake end around. Convincing. Carter going up the sideline, pushed out of bounds, just past the 20 yard line. Looks like 52 and 32 in hot pursuit. Martinez and Hamer. He gained one yard on that venture. <laughs> is that, oh, is it marked at the 21? That's what it looks like 21 or 22. Oh, they give him the 22. So he made two oh, so yards. So he got two yards. <laughs> All right. Wow, they're playing the Packers thing. That's got to be interesting. Well, that's spotted. something everybody can agree on. Yeah, Paul spotted on. And it's not like they both don't wear the right colors, too. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Fact. Here comes the Edgar offense. Here's your first look. 21 Wildcat to 23 fandom. in the backfield. Straight under center. Handoff. Quarterback keeper. Nobody calls his own number, and he springs loose. Hey, here comes Healy going to chase him down. He chases him out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Big game. By Tegan, the quarterback, fake handoff up the middle and scooches it to the right, finds daylight. And they are in, they are in scoring territory-ish early on. For 39 yard gain. That was an interesting play because like everybody was sold on that interior run and he delayed it just enough. Or maybe there was a miscue in the handoff. No, no, no. The, Either way, on it was that executed. delay, those guys put out some really big blocks and sprung him up to the outside. And there was no one covering. Rue got sucked in. Handoff bounces it to the outside. Eight. And he's going to be gone to the 5 to 10. Touchdown, Edgar. Colby Weisenberger. Untouched. Untouched. Two plays, and Edgar is in the end zone. Holy cow! Sucked Lopez in on that inside. Same thing that happened to Rue on the other side. Is that they got sucked into that middle. There was nobody protecting the outside. Swung right around him. Colby gains 40 yards and a touchdown to his name. And Edgar strikes first. Colby, yeah. Got oversold. And that kid's got speed. He bounced it. And nobody was there to, to catch him. Going for two. Fake handoff. Rolls to his right. Looking for an open receiver. Pressure in his face. Lobs up a prayer. And it Inter is. Intercepted. Yep. By Lopez. Lopez gets his hands on it instead. And it's no good. Edgar strikes first, putting six on the board. Here early in the first quarter with seven minutes and 44 seconds remaining. Edgar, six. Colby, zero. I absolutely feel that Tiger Lily is getting a great education with RVA. She is challenged and she's not bored. She enjoys her classwork. I love the teachers. The teachers are the best part. My teachers are very friendly and they're easy to reach out to when you need help with an assignment. The teachers are always there when you need help. What I love about RVA is the flexibility, first. But second is that Tiger Lily is so happy with this school, with her teachers, and with what she's learning. It's awesome. Yeah, just plug it should plug in and just start going. And we're back. Welcome back. Thanks for not going anywhere. I'm assuming you didn't go anywhere because you know what? It's just getting started, but things are heating up. Edgar showing some stout defense, grinding Colby to a halt, forced him to punt, and they turned around with two carries. 
for a 39-yarder and a 40-yarder, going 79 yards downfield for a score. First time Colby's been scored on. Right back to Lopez. This early, Lopez fielding the kick. Sheds one tackler, boom, he can't oh, shed the next guy. Drilled by number Gets 44 for By Edgar. Bumgartner. Number 44, right? Yep, number 44, Bumgartner. Fielded at the 15-ish yard line. Looks like he's gonna be spotted right around like, yeah, the 32 yard line. First and 10, Colby. Here come the Hornets. Seeing if they can get themselves a response here. Being down early, but they ain't shook. Here's the snap and the handoff. Ooh, hitting the backfield Tackle in the backfield. 54, Higgins. Yep, Higgins getting past his blocker and ropes. Just ropes the runner down really and Colby had nowhere to the go. transition there. It was supposed to be a little bit of trickery, but did not get ahead of steam coming around that corner. Yeah, Edgar sniffed that out in a hurry. Colby seven up to the line, losing about three yards on the carry. Shotgun formation is Tucker. Here's the snap, dropping back to pass. Trying to look deep. For right now, it was completed, but the whistle is blown, or oh, the whistle is blown, and the play then. is dead. Too many. Well, the way he threw it, I'm going to guess it's either... Um, See what it is. Nope. Illegal formation. False. False start. Ooh. It had to have been on the offense. You went to stop the play then. Nope. They'll stop on an offside. That they will stop on an offside. Really? Yep. B big pushback. Not where you want to be. Second down and 17. Deep into uh, Edgar territory. Well, to go or right deep back to in the their pass. own territory, They're I should spread say. Spread them wide. Yep. He's got receivers spread out. It's a fake. Healy up the middle. Dodges the first tackler and Ooh. finally a rope down. Gets it past the original line of scrimmage and then some. Gets it to the 35-yard line. Baumgartner on the tackle. It's back to third down and manageable. That was a good play call, actually. Yeah, yeah. I did not see that one coming. That's a little bit more manageable because you couldn't really run the same seam. How big of a gain was on that play? Uh, it was uh, second and 18, so 10 yards. Just what the doctor ordered. Big third down here, though. Shotgun formation, wide outs on either side. Snap. Oh, and Lopez runs directly Lopez into is number 54. That is not find working. Any room. Higgins is coming through unblocked on that corner. Higgins is absolutely showing he is unblockable right now. He is a uh, man possessed. He's a big senior for this Edgar squad. So here we go. Back Probably to gonna retrieve punt. is uh, straight and butt. butt yep. <laughs> I, they're like, I don't think Bros could kick it this far, but we'll, we'll see. honor it. Bros in the back. Here's the snap. And he line Ooh. drives it, gets a bounce, gets past Carter's hands. It's going to back him up a little bit. He's going he the keeps running way. backwards. Here comes the gold helmets. Drives him back to the 25-yard line. Great special teams play there by Colby. <laughs> he was cornered and <laughs> he had no place to go. He should have just fell yeah, down. Yeah, no kidding. That was... I'm sure they're going to credit Voss with the tackle, but uh, he was chased back by about uh, but you six know of what? the Colby players there. That's good, though. We'll take it, right? If you're Colby. Well, that turns into a long punt at that point. Here come the Wildcats. Yeah, so he lost Yeah, he lost 10 yards on that play. First and 10, Edgar. Ball spotted on the 20-yard line. Well, you got two new ends. You got Wheezy. Actually, nope, Lopez is on the other side now. Straight. So Wheezy's taking the corner. Fake pitch. Throws it. Trying to find number 17, and it's going to fall incomplete. Meyer on the coverage for Kobe. Normington. Avery Normington, senior for this Edgar squad, and it falls to his feet incomplete. Meyer on the coverage. Wade's just trying to soak it all in. Oh, that was a bizarre coverage. The 
two of their offensive linemen just laid down. I don't know if that was part of the play or... <laughs> Like they, they were taking a nap? Like they just laid down. I don't know if it was so he could see the receiver better or if it was some sort of trick play, but they just laid down on the ground. I'm still trying to figure out why. Weird. Straight. Handoff to Carter. Spin move. Finally gets roped, roped down, down after three Healy. Colby kids get on top of him. Lopez slowed him down. Yep, Healy, Healy was the last off. one to get his uh, hands around his ankles. That kid is hard to bring down. He is a, he is a big, big kid. Third down and eight for the Wildcats. This is an important series right here. Colby's defense is. I'd expect. Oh man, I'd love to see a pass by Edgar now. here, but we'll see what they do. Edgar is going to throw a receiver to the near sideline, straight under center. It's going to be a handoff eight to the opposite around. side to Colby. Gets tripped up and finally dragged up. down. Gets it to the line of scrimmage and then some. But it's not going to be enough. It's going to be fourth down and five. Isaac Routes on the tackle for Colby. Big play. A lot of missed tackles by that Colby squad. Usually the first initial contact that Colby kid can wrap it up. But Edgar is sh uh, shredding them off. Yeah, nope. And it's taken multiple guys. But yeah, Colby not quitting. And finally holds Edgar here to a, on their second possession to a fourth and out. Or so it would seem. That's right. Maybe can we expect a fake punt? Not this early. Not this deep. You got, yeah, why did I even think that? You've got uh, Rue and Lopez back to receive for Kobe. Here comes the punt. Goes high into the air. Rue fields it. Runs. Sheds a tackle. Oh, does it get past the hands of Normington? Number 17, yes. Normington. Fielded at about like the 40-yard-ish line and finally brings or gets brought down Hufner Fuss number 55 Hainerfus. on the punt Fuss Hainerfus. how are we going to say that? Hainerfus. 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 Oh, just short of the man, I hope he right a lot. that is a fantastic last line. name or 42 yard line sorry about that first and 10 Colby in Edgar territory early on first and 10 Three minutes and 40 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Healy Hand right up, off, the up the middle is Healy fighting, gets pushed back. Hit by number 21, but. That's the other big running back. Running backs meeting each other. <laughs> yeah, sister numbers. Yep, just that with, and they just happen to be the same number. <laughs> Colby is not going to give up on that middle interior play. I agree. That's their it's bread just and butter. bizarre to me. That's, that, that's where they want to go. Tight formation now. Rue off to the right just ever so slightly. It's going to go to Healy, swinging it to the outside. Gets a block. Does the rest with his feet and the shoulder. Finally dragged down. It's going to be a good gain for them for a third and short scenario here. Third and one to be exact, or third and two. Ball spotted on the 33-yard line. Yeah, I wonder Healy why on a nice they don't six want yard to swing gain right there. Do you think it'd be too odd for Colby to do uh, a misdirection, high risk play? Not. They've done two of them already. We're just where they're faking. They're just too slow in the backfield off of it. We're getting too fast of penetration. We're just not. Ah, so this is where well. this is where you say like pick just a direction. And they're going to with Lopez, and it's going to go straight downfield. Leans towards that first down marker. Stencil on the tackle for Edgar. Oh, he's short. Wow. Tough, tough ball spotting around here. Fourth and, and a very short yard to go. Meyer coming out. Colby's going for it. Oh, I'm sure they're going to do the exact Fourth same thing. Fourth and short. Here. Colby wants that first down, and they want it bad. This is where you swing it wide. Go for the touchdown. Robita on the far right. Hand off up the middle. Healy's going to get it. Jumps, jumps over, the, over pile. the pile. That kid could have jumped, could have hurdled all those kids. Fake the dive, throw the ball. That's what I would have <laughs> Go for it pass. all. Just throw the he ball. He wants that pass so bad, folks. <laughs> Just throw the ball. I believe, Wade, you were uh, in middle school football for the Hornet squad. You were a uh, quarterback. Yeah, I, I was the Hornet hustler. <laughs> yup. <laughs> what were you going to say? I was going to say they're probably setting up a good pass play. 
There and just is. like he called it, wide open, deep wide down open. field, Robito oh, crosses it track of top the, of the ball. Oh no, and who was that on the coverage? Number nine, Number Shewitt. Nine. Shewitt for Edgar. Shewitt, yep. Robita just lost track of it. He thought that ball was going to be more on the inside, but then it went far left, went over his head. I Couldn't don't know if it went that far over his head. I think he turned to the wrong side. That That's ball I mean. almost he, hit him. Yeah. I think he was expecting it to be more interior. I don't know why we got to throw these bombs. Like, just throw a 10-yard out. Like, throw <laughs> throw something in the middle. Of the Wade's begging. Too. Please. I think that was a great play call, though. 20-yard I think bomb. you got to stick with that. Here's the snap. And that's another pass. Screen. Wait, sets up a screen. Man, and not going to have any kind of blocking, and it's going to be a big loss yeah, for it's Colby. Everybody in there. Stencil blew up that play from the beginning. Baumgartner finished the ball. It's be a big there. loss of yardage. So now you're looking at a third down and. Man, what is that going to be? Third down and 17. Who's blocking All 54 Wade? here? Do you do two passes to make up that 17-yard difference, or do you just go for it all right here? I'm surprised they're not going to run this ball. They ain't going to throw Rue this ball. Near they're running this. Robita on the outside. It's a run play. Healy, wall blockers. Hurdles the first guy. Runs over the next defender. Wow, and just like short. that, they're fourth and short. Well-ish. They got about like three yards <laughs> to go for the fourth down. Straight on the tackle for Edgar. You can tell Edgar is... Edgar is playing very cautious against that pass. You know what I mean? Oh, well, that's they what we needed for our run game off of it, but we haven't been very successful with the pass game. Like, if we could get a couple underneath our belt, I think they would honor it a little bit more instead of stacking the box. But 54 is literally on the defensive line there, and he's getting in on every play. Like, he's literally the guard, and he's getting in. So yeah. we're having problems on our offensive line. Something's got to change. Either we got to run to the left, or we got to double him up because he's, he's in the backfield constantly. Absolutely, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Going to go into the second quarter to finish out this first half, and we're going to go to a commercial break, I think. Right? There it goes. And we're back. Here we go. Switching right. sides. Well, Robita on the near side line. Rue off to the far fourth side. And three. Line. Shotgun formation. Healy in motion. And Lopez is not going to find any room. He might gain a yard. 54 lost his helmet on it, but he was right there. Higgins had him wrapped up immediately. Just did not get pushed out of the way. There was no hole for yeah, Lopez no to kidding. run through. It was a zero gain by Lopez. The Edgar Wildcats not fooled by that one. First and 10, Edgar. Dude. I think Hagen wishes. He had a well, good trip. You had dead center plays working so well up to that point. But you got to. Edgar was waiting for that. No, you got to swing that ball on the outside here. Like, we, we have they, not had much success. You kind of wonder, like, if they would have just got. Even if Healy or Lopez would have had a one on one scenario, if you would have gained that extra three by just. I would have swung him to the outside or else thrown the ball. Throw the ball. <laughs> <laughs> here come the Wildcats. Fresh. Possession for them here in the second quarter. 21. Hanoff goes up the but. middle to Carter and whoa! Goes backwards! Dober and Healy on the wrap up. Yep. Levi Domer, he's been playing big. 
the last few games. And it doesn't surprise me. He got a hold of him and he pushed him back. A loss of a yard or two. I mean, it wasn't a loss. It was a gain. <laughs> wow, he did get a couple yards on that one. That's surprising. I thought they pushed him backwards. But it's forward progress, as they like to say. Second down and nine. They got a receiver on the far outside. That's going to be Hartway. It's going to go. Nope, not Hartway. Norrington goes into motion, goes to the far left. Right up the gut. Goes 21. Up the gut. Carter hasn't been Wrapped up by Domer loose. again. Wrapped up by who? Domer. Domer again. Gets himself about like a three, four, or uh, gets about like a three yard gain, third down and five ish to go for the Wildcats. Carter is just not getting started. No, not at all. Yeah, Carter's just, uh, he's getting the holes, but they quickly are collapsing. The speed of this uh, Colby defense is catching up to him. I'd expect a trick play or at least a throw here. Normington on the near sideline points to the official. Am I good? Number three goes in motion. Tegan under center. Here's the snap. It's a fake. It's going to be a pass. Got a Rushes going back wide open is Carter. Intercepts it. Rice <laughs> intercepts it. <laughs> the ball is going the other way. It brings it <laughs> to the 50 yard line. Oh my, what a play. <laughs> Chase Affleback wide open in his hands. Juggles it like a hot potato. And Wheezy with oven mitts brings it down. <laughs> It couldn't have got flipped any more perfect. They're both on full runs there, and he flips it right into his lap and just happens to find the ball. He was beat by at least four or five yards. He had a huge he not been lead on him. He would have been gone. Wow. That right there is a momentum changer. Oh, you got to believe it, man. Steve, I hope you got that on tape. you got to throw Rue the ball at this tape. point. Throw Rue the ball. That's what you do. Colby fandom is all on their feet. Meyer. Shotgun formation, here's the snap. It's a pass, deep middle. Robino with the catch, he's in open space. Dodgers a big tackle into the end zone. Touchdown, Colby! <laughs> oh my, what a response, what a pass! Oh, finally throwing the ball, that's what it takes, throw Wait, the ball. Is it tears of joy, he said, <laughs> they finally passed it, and Robina puts on the Jets. I don't know what number 11 was doing on there. He had that ball dead to rights. If he would have taken two steps up, he would have had an interception easily. He was hanging back, and he did not see 84 come streaking through there. He was the second, like the free safety oh. off of that play. If he would have took a step up, he would have grabbed that ball. Right, literally right away from him. Robina was like, he was sneaky there. He had the vertical, and he got it. Bro's going to go for the extra point, and why not? Tie ball game. See if it will put in the lead for the Hornets. Snap. Good. Oh, it blocked. Is blocked. Whoa! What a response by Edgar! I think blasting up the interior was that stencil. Ten minutes and two seconds here in the second quarter in the entire first half. Ball game. Six to six. Colby ties it up with a quick turnover and a strike downfield. Drops a bomb. 50-yard gain. We're going to go to commercial. Don't go anywhere. Forward being a mutual, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for customers that uh, bank with us because it allows us to make decisions for the long term, for our community, for our customers, and for our employees. We're not driven for profit, as most companies are. So we can make decisions that are good for our communities, our employees, and our depositors. And that, that's very unique. Back. And we're back. My wife just dropped me off a, six, a 10 piece chicken nugget meal. <laughs> just a snack. <laughs> Colby getting ready to kick. Thank you. Getting ready to kick it off now. Uh, burger and straight. Straight. Uh, yep. Straight in the backfield. Set to kick or receive the kickoff. It's a high booming kick. Oh, it's a Fakes fake handoff. Levin still got it. Gonna get shot, whoa, whoa. Right out of bounds. 32, got him. Just in front of the 20 yard line. That's Hamer, bring in the Hamer. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is that Ivan Hamer? He's a, he's a, 
junior this year. I think for his senior year, somebody should say it's hammer time. It's and hammer put that time. On a is right. I agree. That's for sure. Edgar going to be coming out. Looking to see if they can respond back to that Colby strike. You got to be feeling good if you're Edgar, though. Hey, okay, we gave up interception. Colby, with their explosive offense, scored, but it's a tie ball game. And that extra point was odd. He just line drive that right into yeah, the back of his own players. High. Pressure got to him. White out split on either side. Here's a snap. It's a pass. S heaves it wide up in the air, and it's intercepted by Meyer! Wow. It was a duck high in the air, and Meyer says it must be my birthday, and he intercepts it. No pressure whatsoever, just heaves that ball. I don't know if it came off weird on his hands. It looked like it slipped out of his hands. It didn't have that tight spiral. Did you see that? It kind of gave this wobble, and it came down like a punt. It must have slipped out of his hands. He hand. couldn't have thrown it any higher. It was like a home run in a silo. Pass intended for, it was intended for Hartway. Holy cow! What just happened? Wow. A timeout time is out. called for. Right? Timeout called for Edgar. Oh, they're going to get It looks like Steve wants to take it with him. We do. Don't go anywhere. I got I to gotta calm myself down. <laughs> it's too good. I spluced my phone in the road crater? In my cupboard or no? Well, hey, Carm, you're never going to believe this. A sturgeon just hit my Chevy. Am I covered or no? Interesting. And yes. I had a couple 30 packs explode in my garage. Am I covered or no? I've been there before, bud. It's a sad day. Oh. Aren't you two-time Rose Bowl champ Bill Ferrario? Yeah, you better call Marshfield Insurance and ask for Premium Boy. Whether you're hitting fish or hitting football players, the agents at Marshfield Insurance have the answers. Welcome back. Steve, the t statistician? Statistician. 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 Oh my gosh. All right, roll with it, Steve. You said some pretty uh, interesting uh, offensive line items. Go ahead, quick. Tegan Strike, 0 for 3 with two interceptions now passing. Does have 39 yards rushing. Carter Buck, three carries, seven yards. Unbelievable. That's probably the first time he wasn't in double digits going into the second quarter. And I mean, Caden Healy, uh, nine carries for 44 yards. Wow, unbelievable. Oh, Here's so the snap. The Healy going to work, letting his legs do the magic, dancing his way close to that first down marker, but he's going to be two yards short. Second down. Shoot. I can't believe Healy's already at 44 yards. Well, Mateo they've got going up the middle. Mateo, I, I bet he's got less than 15, I bet. Wow. I'll know here in just a moment. My guess is 19, 15 to 19 yards. So here's the interesting Mateo dynamic. Lopez, four carries, five yards. Five yards? Oh, he must have had some. So here's an interesting there. dynamic, though. It's like you got two offensive uh, power cells for this Edgar team that are struggling. But anyway, enough about that. Here comes Colby. Swing on the outside as Tevin gets, almost gets the ball struck. Fuzzles out of the that first tackle. Gone. And he gets dragged out of bounds. Uh, and and 15 on to the end of that one. Oh, that was a face tackle. masking call. Wade caught it. Justin Davis on the just tackle. Just short of the 20-yard line. Holy smokes, did Tevin just say, get off me, and he kept going. That's one way to bring him down. What's that? Well, that's one way to bring him down. He ripped him down with that face mask. Wow. And the chain gang is, for some reason, not moving with the ball. Waiting there they go. The official call. Yeah, they got to place oh, it, and then he'll pace off 15. There we go. Rain has been holding off, not even missing. It's a great night. Well, I think the cloud's cleared because you can feel the coolness kind of finally coming into it. The mugginess is leaving. There you go. Wow, what happened to the 15 here? Just a five-yard incidental. Ay, ay, Colby ay. in striking zone. Wind at their backs. Shotgun formation hand out the middle. Going goes right to, to the middle. Healy, but just gets gobbled up. What's bizarre? They There's four guys, like, literally just waiting for him. Like, he just runs right into the middle of them. I don't know if we're trying to tackle him out, if this is just, like, part of our game. The only thing I would say is the seven, you know, that run from Rue is opened up because they have to keep the four guys in the middle to stop Healy. 
I don't know. They're so not getting much yardage off of it. Like, but yeah. what Steve is trying to say is, is like they got to keep this Edgar defense on us. Otherwise, they because if you stop running up the middle, I guarantee you, 44. I don't have the roster in front of me. He's gonna start cheating out to the outside. Well, then, yeah, then just keep flipping and flopping instead of like going Lopez one two yards here at the middle. Yeah, it's a fumble. Edgar falls on top of it. 23. Or at least that's what early. That's what the fandom is saying. Applebet. Yep, they Applebet falls on top of it. Costly turnover by the Hornets. And that's going to be a fresh set of downs for Edgar. Big play by the Wildcats there. Colby had all the momentum in the world, and then the ball goes the other way. Man, oh man. Edgar fandom back on their feet. They're perking up. Normington on the near sideline. But, but and Colby in the back. But it's a handoff up the middle. Carter not going down easily. But he really had to fight for Ross on the tackle. <laughs> Announcer says Isaac rates Rots on the stop. Big five yard blast. Second down for the Wildcats now. Number three coming into the game, Hartway. Big receiver for this Wildcat squad. Shewitt going on the f near sideline. Carter and Colby in the backfield. Man in motion. Here's the snap. It's going to be a hand up, up the middle, and not going to go anywhere. Wow. Who's With on the 74 stop? on his back the whole time, 54 on the tackle. That's going to pull it all the way back to the 20. Oscar Zamora playing wow. big. Fights through that big lineman. Whoa! He, he fought off 235 Gavin. pounds. Yeah, and I was just pulling him down the whole out way. Of the way. Wow. He had him just by the edge of the shirt and was able to rope him down. And then that big guy just smoked and him. He from was behind. not letting go. Wow. Third down and long. Third down and seven. Ball spotted on the 20. Edgar looking for that first down. Snap. Fake, fake. handoff. Rolls to his right. Fires it off to the side and gonna hit the dirt. But it's gonna fall into the hands of number 44. But he falls to the dirt. Bumgarner. And he's gonna get he's gonna be about a yard short of the first down. Lopez Fourth on down. the coverage. He had, he had pressure in his face from Tevin, but wasn't enough, and he was able to fire that pass out. Lots of personnel coming back in. It looks like Edgar is going to be... There's no way you go for Edgar's this. Edgar's going to be... Not a chance. Looking for the punt, I bet, huh? 100%. 100%. You're not going to turn the ball over inside your own 30s. I guess I was overruled. No, no way. <laughs> they can't be that crazy yet. Not without not six minutes left. Game. You're yeah. not going to trust in your defense? <laughs> <laughs> Early in the ball game. <laughs> Snap is a little high, not too high. Punt is out and away. Falls. Just shy of the 45 yard marker. Looks like it's going to be like at about ugh, the 44. Yeah. I'd say about 44. And that's going to bring out Colby. Man, if you're Colby and considering there was a fumble. This is great ball. Oh yeah, spot. you lucked out here. Granted, you were within you know the the thirty yard line last time when you you fumbled that ball with all the momentum. But you score before halftime and not leave them uh, much time left on the clock. That would be a big upturn for this game. Colby's got to be feeling good though. Like as opposed to that first offensive possession by Edgar, this has been pretty much the Colby defense bottling up this high uh, this high powered running game of Edgar. I don't know. Those two interceptions uh, for the trickery kind of took the wind out of their sails. Meyer gets the snap, and it goes to Healy. Swings it to the right. Got a wall of blockers. Finally finds a seam, and he's going to get a nice gain, about 12 or 11 yards on the carry. Finally gets brought down near the 45, maybe the 46-yard line. First down, Colby. I, I would have given it to Tegan straight on that pull down. Straight finally roping him down, just like what Wade said. So, wait, what do you got to dial up right here? You got a fresh set Oh, I go right back to it. Just keep swinging it to the outside until they move those guys out of the middle. Like, that's the bread and butter. As Swing if like, they're wide. wearing them down? Exactly. Swing it to the outside. Keep running. 
We got to take uh, five and a half minutes off the clock. Ball Lopez, falls to Lopez, corner. fakes it, he got the handoff. He's got daylight. Oh, and he gets roped right around the ankles. By number 17, Normington. That's Normington. Right at the 30 yard line. Or right at the, no, at the 20 yard. Okay, guys, did you see what they did? So he went in motion, got the ball. He took that ball and he set it on his hip. I think he just sight. missed it, though. They, they did this in practice two years ago. They tell that ball guy to hold it down, and they did this against Abbotsford. And then they just blast, threw everybody off. <laughs> Healy off to Myers right, or left. He right gets the, the snap, up the middle. Oh, wow. That was a big whack. I can yeah, number 44 did not see that one coming. He's slow to get back up. Four yard gain. Baumgartner got, caught, took her right on the chin. Baumgartner. <laughs> that's, that's oh, and it brought Healy down as well, but he did not see that coming. He, Bumgarner wanted to say, welcome to Edgar, and Healy said, I'll stay here a while. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Second down. Looks like second down and six, but I guess it's second down and seven according to the scoreboard. Tight formation. Rue pointing out something on the defense. Here's the snap. Outside run. Here comes Healy. Far right side. Spin move. Finally gets smacked. Wow. Drag down. Wow. Why it's is it not going to be for enough. Edgar it's going to move the chain number eight. First, and, first down, Colby. Number eight on the tackle, Weisenberger. Yep, Weisenberger. It's all these running backs that are and quarterbacks that are chasing down these running backs now for Colby. That's just showing that Colby's finally exploiting that interior, like what Wade was talking about. Like, let's start swinging this to the outside. Let's right. trap these, these guys, guys a little out. bit. Yep, they're finding excellent ways to trap these interior linemen, and that's just... These running backs are just springing loose. Yeah, now you got a bigger gap in the middle here. Meyer pointing out something. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to the left. Lopez tries to make the first couple of guys miss, and he gets roped down. He is running with a lot of heart. He is dragging those guys for an extra he yard. He's just not getting open, though. Like, that hole, he missed the the, the two-hole there, coming right off the bat. Like, there is a one that opened and closed. They are swinging a little bit wider off that... Uh, outside, so the middle's a little bit more open, and he mm. just missed the hole, so he had to swing her a little bit wide, ran right into number 21 and 23. There you go. So, little little stat for you. Edgar. Hold on now. Oh. Second down and five. Sorry, Steve. We'll get back to you. <laughs> Snap. Healy. Healy. Up the middle. Jukes. Dives. Ball's out. Oh, the ball is fumbled again. Still out. Still, out. still rolling. Number 54 looks and like he's got it. And Colby. 54's got it. Yeah. Colby gets a hold of it. Oh my gosh. Healy was trying to pound that in towards the goal line and gets know. punched out. I would argue that Healy was down. I really do. Like, he was kneeling down and then he got hit from the side and that sure. ball came shooting out. All right, Steve, what's your stat? So, Colby, eight first downs, Edgar, two. And they got those two. The one was on that big play and they got one other one so far today. Outside of that first drive. Here we go, like Colby. Just avoided disaster here on a third and four. Snap. Give it Healy. right back to him. Up the middle. He wants He's going to run for daylight. Gets it to the end zone. Touchdown, Colby. He wanted that one. Colby showing resilience. They are not going to get phased by these miscues. Healy made sure he held on to that ball. And he just rumbled, bumbled, stumbled into the end zone. 12 and, It's 12 to 6, Colby. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. So you leave, leave that, but you also, Edgar, only two timeouts. So they're going to, you know, they had to waste that one timeout after the interception. And Colby's got all three. Colby's got all three. Burrow's going to set to kick it off. Well, let's see if he gets a little more height in this for one. For the extra point attempt. And it's up. Oh, quite a bit more and height. And it's good. Colby showing resiliency and speed. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining here in the first half of game play. Edgar Wildcats, six. Colby Hornets, 13. And we're going to go to a commercial break. Don't go anywhere. Oh, man. Winter right. Insurance of Northern Wisconsin is your qualified, experienced team for custom insurance packages for your vehicle, your home, and your family. At Clinter Insurance, projecting your family is our top priority. Who scored the first touchdown for Kobe? 
Who scored the first touchdown for Kobe? Wasn't it a pass? I'll let you know here in just a second. Robita, Robita that's right. Yes. Hey, and we're back, and you know what? Steve's like, I'm not talking enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> go ahead, Steve. So, Caden Healy now, 14 carries, 78 yards. He's averaging five and a half yards a carry. Wow. And, you know, Cole Weisenberg leading the way, two carries, 42 yards. 40 of that coming on, on the touchdown one run. I was to say on one carry. You take away that first drive, Edgar has, trying to do the math here real quick, about 10 yards of offense. That is unbelievable. And that ball's going to go touchback. into the end zone. Nothing unfamiliar if you're Colby Hornet fandom with that Tucker Bros. I was looking up Merriwood uh, kicking stats today, and there's no stats. It's just Tucker Bros. He is in a league of his own. There's teams that will list that we thought about it or we tried once. Whereas Tucker, he's only missed, well, now this will be three field goals. Well, it's Just harder than it looks. It's hard to beat big legs. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a big toe. <laughs> I don't know. Is his right foot larger than the left? <laughs> I want to know what's in that other colored shoe. Edgar, look and see if they can get back on track here, get another score. Hand right off up the, up the middle. middle to, looks like to Carter, and he gets gobbled up by three Hornets right there. I don't know. I'd give it to Voss on the tackle. And I would say Levi was right there with him. So Voss and Domer on the stop. Looks like about a four-yard gain. Second down and six coming up for Edgar. Just like what Steve was pointing out there, like if you take that first drive away, oh, man. Yeah, and it was just over-anxious, just a little bit of nerves getting sucked onto the middle. It was both edges that those edges rushed in, and that's what threw them off. Well, if you're Edgar, you got you know, you got to keep faith that this uh, this running game is going to bust wide open. One of fumble, these should fumble. go. Oh, it's it going to be pitched back to two, but I think they're going to call him down. down. Yes. And Colby takes a timeout. Oh wow! Colby wants that ball back, so it's going to bring up third down and long. About like third down and seven. Colby calling the timeout right away. Do you want to stick? We'll stay. Okay, so Steve, you're Mr. Statistician. Tell me how many total offense for Colby right now? Colby, total offense, 131 yards. Okay. That is... Now, being somebody that was just watching this game, especially in that first quarter, you would have never expected that yardage total to get to there. All of a sudden, this offense started waking up at the end of that first quarter. Because, like, when did the Robita strike happen? Was that second quarter? That was first quarter. It was first quarter was first, with about yeah. uh, seven minutes left in the quarter. I don't know. They've scored twice. Football field's 100 yards long. I'd say about 130 is about appropriate. But meaning, like, that first, like our first couple of series here, when Colby was really struggling to get that ball, I even just, moved another 40 they yards. They were doing something with that offense. Like, they were intentionally trying to run that up the middle. Like, there was something <laughs> odd that they saw that they're Are like... Are you saying H Hagen was... It, that's a bait and switch? I don't know, because it looked like they were just banging their head against a wall for un an unknown reason. They just kept going <laughs> in the same spot. That's, a hot, that's a hot take. I hope oh, that makes a highlight reel. Gracious. That's an like, interesting comment. 54 was the wall that they were banging their head up against. Here we go. Here comes Edgar. They got three tailbacks in the backfield. Receiver out to the right. It's a Cross pass. Cross back to pass. They're looking for the one receiver. Oh, my goodness. And he's trying to lead number yeah, nine. Too much. Balls incomplete at the 40-yard line. Meyer kind of stopped chasing after that one and just said, <laughs> you go ahead and try to catch that. I don't know if he was conserving energy there or what, or else he was just That's like, what ah. I know. I'm like, wow, does he see that ball traveling further than what we think? But that was easily like about three yards ahead of him yet. He's like, there's another safety back there. Wait a minute. Nope. Nope. Just me. <laughs> Shoe it. What's the intended receiver? And it falls incomplete. Edgar, this is probably, um, I, I would wager, Steve, maybe uh, they had one other game where they had a lot of passing attempts. I got to imagine this is probably a pass-heavy attempt offense game for them so far this season. Looks like it so far. Tegan straight one of five for eight yards, two interceptions. Eight yards. Marcus on the ball. There's a here. punt. It's kind of a line drive. Lopez gets a head start. Makes, makes a, a pay miss. Puts on the Jets. He's going to go. Oh, he chips up in the soggy the field. five-yard line. Holy cow, he could have took that to the house, but Edgar 
Defender there, last man standing, ropes him down. <laughs> he didn't rope him down, he slid and he fell out of his feet and then he helped him get it back up. It was actually very good sportsmanship there. And took the there. steam right out <laughs> <laughs> There was no tackle in that. That was just... <laughs> it's first and goal. From Is it really? It's that close? I right thought it was on the 10. Wow. Just, just on the 10. Lopez had a running head start on that ball and he didn't quit. He kept oh. his head down. Tight formation. Here's a snap. Give it to Rue. Rue. Uh -oh. Patiently waiting uh -oh. for uh -oh. something to open up, but he runs out of real estate. Finally gets roped down by number 50. Stencil. By Stencil. There you go. He'll get one. Picks himself up. I Steve don't says know. about a yard. They're forcing that Rue end around. Like Colby that's not a second, wasting any or no, time. That's a third one now that's had minimal yardage on. Second down and nine. Time ticking away. We're under a minute. Snap. Hand off. Healy makes first guy miss. Dragging the pile. A little bit closer. It looks like uh, about a gain of two. Yonker. Gain of three. Yonker on the tackle for Edgar. Ta Hornets are going to take another timeout. Hagen. Hagen. Oh, Hi. we're going to take a break too. Don't go anywhere. And just like that, we're back. Wade's still racking his head like, man, Colby's still testing that interior. They're getting some gains, but not the flashy Minimal. ones like going to the off tackle, left to right. I don't know. Get a bigger kid. Have him run up the middle. Line. <laughs> Wade? Stop giving uh, Healy, like, just getting, like, concussioned in that middle. He's taking five steps and running into, like, four Edgar guys. Third down and six. 49 seconds remaining. Do you run it? Do you pass oh, it? you run this for sure. You got oh, two plays you were there. Pass it. No, you've got no. a timeout. You got two plays. Two plays. Yep. Two plays. I agree. And you run it here, take the timeout, and then make your decision. Then go for two. Here we go. Meyer shotgun formation. Healy off to his left. Snap. They're gonna it's throw a pass. it, and it's a bad Makes idea. The first man miss. Uh oh. Throws it off. Ball. Wow, is that a bad idea? Incomplete. That was a risky throw, but Rue was. Technically, he was there, and he get a hand on it, but he deflected <laughs> it away. They're kicking the field goal, 100%. Yeah, fourth and six. Nope. I told you guys it was going to be a pass play. Man, man, Wait. was that a bad idea? Uh oh, yeah. Hagen's going to hear that. Oh, sorry, Hagen, <laughs> that was a bad idea. Brost. That's like the Seahawks, like throwing it on the goal line. Run that ball in. Brost eyeballing up. The field goal. He had one blocked already. He's got the golden boot. Kick is up. A few moments remaining here in the first half of this big ball game. Colby, 16. Edgar, 6. Now are we going to stay put? We'll stay put. Okay, so Steve, do you got a moment to talk some more stats? You got anything interesting over there? Oh, I'll tell you what. How many field goals does Bruce have in the year? <laughs> That's what I want to know. No, what I want to hear... <laughs> right now is how many total turnovers in the game total turnovers both Let combined me... three four three Edgar, Isn't there... the two interceptions colby the one fumble. fumble oh and then we fumble but fumble we got it back recovered. yeah has it has turnovers been a deciding factor yes i would say so because it's pretty much stopped well, I shouldn't say that. They did try one more pass on a desperation play, but Edgar's pretty much stopped passing since the back-to-back -back interceptions. That's what I was saying. Like, I don't think it was. I don't think it's. I think it was a game. I think it was a a shift in momentum. But I don't how think about, it was. How many pass plays does Edgar usually do during a normal game, though? Three. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, and it's fumbled hey, by it's good three. Can't get on top. Then Hartway is going to fall on it, so just so he can button it up. Thirty-five point eight seconds remaining. First and 10, Edgar. Seems like that was more than one second play there. <laughs> it was 36.8 seconds. Did somebody not start right. that clock in. Oh, boy. Oh, that Here was my job. Go. My job. 
That was you, a pretty fast squid kick. Are you kick. saying Colby never gets some hometown cooking? <laughs> well, I'm just saying that squid kick might have, like, <laughs> well, Steve at, always been a laser. Arnold, actually, no, because the clock doesn't start till it's possessed, not when it's touched. Oh, there you go. Oh, all right. So, that is the correct. All right, well, we'll give it to the clock guy. One whiteout far to the right. They're going to throw it. They got no two way. whiteouts. Number nine go going get it, down go get it, go get it. Oh my and God. he's going to get it. Myers shoving him out of bounds. Dude, fall on him. Keep him in reception bounds. Reception there. Right near the 27 wow, yard good line. Good on to go for it. Meyer lost Obviously. track of it. He thought he was going to intercept that one, but it goes over his head. And that's a big reception play by Shewitt. All of a sudden, Edgar showing signs of life. Oh, they're going to throw this again. He's like, yep, just throw it really high. Don't necessarily have to. They've got two timeouts. Two timeouts, 27 seconds, though. Meyer was all over that, but then he turned around and slowed down because he thought that ball was going to fall short, but it kept oh. carrying. He should have just stayed right on that it's guy. It's depth perception in the lights. That, that'll I, get you. Yeah, I would agree with that. Same formation as the last one. Snap. Pass. Throwing it. Down the middle, and it's incomplete. Tevin almost intercepted it. Yep, it doesn't take much time off the, the clock there. Weisenberger on the potential reception there for Edgar. That is the one thing that Colby has been masterful at this season so far is these interior passes where they try to do like a quick five, six yard dump. These guys have been able to cut those. Not all the time, but enough. And here comes Edgar. Oh, they're gonna stay aggressive. They're totally gonna throw this. They're in Colby territory. Drops back to pass. Goes over to the middle and intercepted. What? Tail just passed his fingers. Incomplete. And <laughs> incomplete. <was> not intercepted. <laughs> oh, what did I say? You said interception. Oh, incomplete. I'm sorry. That's what I meant to say. Oh, my gosh. Pert near interception. I meant to say, and it goes incomplete. <laughs> Mateo had a high vertical on there, but not enough. Yeah. Hits, the, hits the deck face first. Third and ten. Edgar probably going to dial up another pass play here, guys. I don't know. Do you got a matters out if they got a field goal kicker. I'd run it if I had a field goal kicker. Shoo it. Drop. Rolls to his left. It's an option play. Running out of options, though. And Meyer almost gets it. <laughs> gets past it. Oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, gets uh -oh, uh -oh. oh, He might have been out of bounds. Nope. No flag. You, but he did get knocked out of bounds. Big hit by Kane and Wheezy. You make sure you put that in a highlight reel. Squared up. Dude, got him. Throw it in the end zone. Yeah. Got him yep. right Eight in the chin. Throw it in the end zone. Him back. Fourth and ten. I'm surprised. Oh, now we see it. three safeties back deep, but I'm surprised they're not standing at. That the goal wasn't line. a bad. That wasn't a bad play to call up though, because you know what? Just get a little why bit not, closer. Yeah. No, but what I'm saying is, it's like why not play off of the over, the the tendency of the Colby defense to over pursue and and suck up. They were doing it on that first drive. Why not? They were probably counting on like everybody to converge on that guy, and he would have had a quick pitch. He probably would only had one guy to defend know. with and up the sideline. I don't know if I've ever seen somebody want to throw the ball so much and not have anybody to throw it to. <laughs> that was the thing, though. It's like he had four Hornets in front of him. He's like, I don't anybody, have any of them. I, I don't want this ball anymore. Anybody? <laughs> and I don't know the number, but there was a Hornet basically shadowing butt the back that was supposed to get the toss that if he tossed that, I think it might have been Lopez could have caught that, and he would have been gone the other way. That's why he didn't toss. Because Lopez had, was just waiting for him to throw it. Lopez read that out right away, and he was waiting for the toss, and he was going to play a little D-back, and if he caught that, he was gone. Nobody was catching him. So you almost wondered, did this Colby defense, was there a strategy of, like, do you think they picked Carter or that that Shewitt and say, like, we're going to pick one player, and you're always going to just watch him? You know, like, just to shadow him? Uh, you got to almost wonder For if how Mateo got burned up. on that first play, I think that he was just wanted to tackle somebody. I think he got <laughs> lucky on the call is what it ended up being. Bumgartner on the far on the far right. With Shewitt oh. in the slot. Time out, Kobe. Oh, oh, no. Time out is called by Kobe. No so, <laughs> eight seconds say, like, remaining. This is the longest call. fourth down in history. <laughs> that's back-to-back -back timeouts. There's a lot on the line right here because Edgar's, they can't kick, so that's out of it. So, obviously, Hagen's trying to figure out, like, 
do I have the right personnel for in the secondary? Because you got to imagine they're going to overload that secondary. So no, he I, gets past yeah, them. and I think he was trying to see who's going to come out of the slot because they're going to probably end up just not throwing it to the two wideouts. It's going to be probably somebody coming off the line that might not be as guarded, try to throw the ball towards the middle of the field instead of throwing it to the corner of the end zones. Would you think that they would call a draw play? No. So no, heavy on the pass? They're going to throw it in the middle because they're they going to try and get Kobe to pursue in and then release somebody off the line, like a tight end or somebody. I think that's what they would do. I think I think if you were 10 yards closer, maybe you try it. But there's too much real estate ahead of you. Too much. Too much. Wow, I dropped further back. Why are they Same so Same formation. Far Shotgun. Tegan gets it. Surveys. Dumps it to the left. Got a receiver. Broke Whoa. it up. Wheezy. Wow. He got lucky on that stride one. For stride. That was in his hands. He wasn't stride for stride. Sorry. Schuett's got a couple yards on him. And then Wheezy, right at the last second, closed in, deflects it out of his hands. And that's going to be a turnover on downs. And it's going to go in possession for Colby with two and a half seconds left. Well, if you're Colby, throw it, throw it deep. <laughs> <laughs> Bomb it. Wait, what do you do with two and a half seconds remaining? I, we're going deep. Yeah, we're going to go deep. <laughs> Let's go. It works in Madden. It works here. <laughs> and the ball's going to get downed. And that's enough, folks. One, one half in, one more half to go. The first half is in the books on this big matchup of the Merrillwood. Edgar running off to the locker room. Colby going to go into the corner end zone. As they both take a rest and recuperate. And a score, Colby 16, Edgar 6. Break. Let's take a break. This will give you a chance. Go hit the fridge. Go get some snacks. Pet the dog a little bit. Find some chicken McNuggets. But don't go anywhere. We'll be back for some uh, current. Po no, we'll come back with some commentary and some reviews of stats. Clinter Insurance, we know you want to protect your business. The Clinter Insurance team will help you choose the insurance package and plan that fits you and your business. At Clinter Insurance, protecting your business is our top priority. Clinter Insurance. Forward being a mutual, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for customers that uh, bank with us because it allows us to make decisions for the long term, for our community, for our customers and for our employees. We're not driven for profit as most companies are. So we can make decisions that are good for our communities, our employees and our depositors. And that, that's very unique. Exploot my phone in the road crater? Am I covered or no? Well, hey Carm, you're never gonna believe this. A sturgeon just hit my Chevy. Am I covered or no? Interesting. And yes. I had a couple 30 packs explode in my garage. Am I covered or no? I've been there before, bud. It's a sad day. Oh. Aren't you two-time Rose Bowl champ, Bill Ferrario? 
Yeah, you better call Marshfield Insurance and ask for Premium Boy. Whether you're hitting fish or hitting football players, the agents at Marshfield Insurance have answers. Living every day to the fullest, giving hugs and laughing loudly, bringing joy to those you love. Vaccines set us free to live openly. Schedule yours today. Hey, you know that 30 inch walleye? I feel like he's right out in the center there. He'll be in my cooler in about 10 minutes. Yeah, I brought the old tip shot. One thing that you surprised know. me about the RVA is the want to do school, whereas it was kind of a, a struggle before. All of the educators, the staff, the therapists, the specialists, everybody is so knowledgeable. And my favorite thing is that we all work together as a team for the kids. I really feel like we're partners with the RVA. I just love it so much. <laughs> I know I've said that before, but like I love the RVA. <laughs> Well, we're back, Matt. 
looking at some photos right now. So Wade and I will talk you through some stats here. We'll start with Edgar. Tegan Strite, 2 of 9, 43 yards. He also has two interceptions. Rushing Colby Weisenberger leading the way. Two carries, 42 yards, and a touchdown. Tegan Strite, three carries, 39 yards. Carter Butt, six carries, 11 yards. A long rush of four. Wow. Receiving Leighton Shoot, one catch, 43 yards. Brett Bumgardner, one catch, eight yards. Flip the book over for Colby. Tucker Meyer, two of five, 43 yards, and a touchdown. Rushing Caden Healy. This is the number 17 carries, 90 yards, and a touchdown. 5.2 yards per carry, and as long as only 15. Wow. Rest of it, not so good. Mateo Lopez, two carries for six, six carries for 26 yards. Tevin Rue, four carries for 19. Tucker Meyer did have one technical carry for three yards. Uh, receiving Mateo Lopez, one catch, negative seven yards. That was that little screen pass that got blown up. Yes. Nathaniel Robita, one catch, 50 yards, and a touchdown. I'm surprised that Rue has that many yards. Like, Rue's been the exact same plays, been on that end of round off, but it just doesn't seem like it's been very successful at all. I'm surprised he's got any positive yards. He's had, he had that one big run. That is a good chunk of that 19. Oh, he did get yeah, that one good long, screen. His yeah. long run, so he's got four carries for 19 yards, as long as 17. Okay. So he had that one big run. Um, going through some team stats, first downs, Colby 10, Edgar 3. Uh, total yards, Colby 177, Edgar 143, but most of that coming on three big plays. The 79-yard drive to lead, or 70-yard 70, 70 drive to lead it off, and then that 43-yard pass to Leighton Shewitt right before the end of the half. Which I wouldn't be surprised they come right back firing back at that. Like, I would exploit going after Meyer. I cannot see them not throwing another long ball coming down that edge. I think we'll see it. I don't think we'll see it early because I think they're going to try and get Carter Buck going. But I don't know. Um, rushing yards: Colby 134, Edgar 92, 70, 75 of that coming on one drive. Uh, penalties: Colby two for 12, um, Edgar two for eight. Three turnovers in the game: one for Colby, two for Edgar, and. A stat that I think will be very interesting, and I didn't realize it even saved this, special team points. Colby four, Edgar zero. Well, they've only had one opportunity, an extra, yeah. an extra, an extra point extra off point. of it, yes. But that's a huge four points. You take those four points off the board, and all of a sudden it's a, it's a one-possession game. Yes, I agree. And we, you know, obviously we left one out there, too. It should almost yeah. be five as well. Yeah, there was the missed extra point. But other than that, I mean, it's been, the stats look even, but when you really get down to it. If they went to have that last uh, drive on there, it would have been pretty unproportionate. Yep. And, you know, looking at this Edgar's drive summaries. First drive, two plays, 79 yards and a touchdown. After that, punt, interception, interception, punt, punt, downs. And Colby, the exact opposite. Punt, punt, downs, touchdown, fumble, touchdown, field goal. And they, and then the half. Right. So Yeah, and if they went to have that fumble, that would have been another touchdown in there. Would have been easily another yeah. touchdown. Or at least a field goal for sure. Right. Well, they were in on there. So Colby definitely has the better, but we know that uh, Coach Sins is probably one of the better halftime adjusters in the state. So we'll see what he can come out with here in the second half. We've got about six minutes till the start of the second half. We'll step aside one more time. We'll be back with a kickoff right after... This. Is Bluetooth my phone in the road crater? Am I covered or no? Well, hey Carm, you're never gonna believe this. A sturgeon just hit my Chevy. Am I covered or no? Interesting. And yes. I had a couple 30 packs explode in my garage. Am I covered or no? I've been there before, bud. It's a sad day. Oh! Aren't you two-time Rose Bowl champ, Bill Ferrario? Yeah, you better call Marshfield Insurance and ask for Premium Boy. Whether you're hitting fish, or hitting football players. The agents at Marshfield Insurance have the answer.
living every day to the fullest, giving hugs and laughing loudly, bringing joy to those you love. Vaccines set us free to live openly. Schedule yours today. being a mutual, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for customers that uh, bank with us because it allows us to make decisions for the long term, for our community, for our customers, and for our employees. We're not driven for profit as most companies are, so we can make decisions that are good for our communities, our employees, and our depositors, and that, that's very unique. This is Jason Miller from U.S. Seller and Northside Computers. Um, we're currently celebrating our 25th year of doing business here in Marshfield. Um, all the money that has been spent here um, is, you know, is spent at other establishments that we do business with. We employ local people. Uh, we've done, uh, we've sponsored numerous North Youth Apprenticeship programs and uh, sponsored, you know, sporting events and other things of that nature. Of all the places you could purchase a cell phone or a computer from, uh, we want to thank you for doing business with us. Right. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you let the dog out. Maybe the dog let himself out. Be either way. So you got the halftime stats, but let's talk about let's talk about hypotheticals and true analytics right here. If you're Colby, take it away, Wade. So if you're Colby, I probably would throw the ball. <laughs> you no, would not throw no, the no. ball. Of course, we want him to throw the ball, but. Kobe's going to come out running. They're going to spread him wide. I think they're going to have some of the middle uh, uh, defensive line a little bit tuckered out here. I'm sure they're going to get a variance, but it's going to be Healy show from for the I second so. half. I really do. I okay. think they're just going to try and seal the deal. They're, he's going to be you know, swung to the outside. Maybe they'll run a few up the middle, but it's going to be just... I think they're going to play a little more conservative. I doubt you're going to see very many passes unless you see a score from Edgar. So Colby basically has got to be in like... Let's get some scores, but like, let's do like round up the, the clock. Like, let's just let's kill the clock. Yes, yep. Take a drive that's going to take six, seven minutes off the clock. Okay, so now if you're Edgar, throw the ball. <laughs> oh, I'd throw the ball. I really would. They, those guys are open. 
Yeah, they got good. the speed. The guy's got the arm. Just got to catch the ball. Run underneath it. He's needs Law a little bit of time. Law of average dictates you can only miss it so many times. One of those are going to connect. Well, one of them did, and they got it almost at a halftime. Exactly. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they come out throwing right here off the bat. I really don't. The only concern I have for them throwing is you set yourself behind the chains if you miss. And, I mean, Tegan Streit is two of nine. So it's not like they've been very efficient throwing the ball with two interceptions. <laughs> I don't know. 60% of the time, it works every time. I don't know. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Those are stats to live by. Sometimes the most recent hi uh, history is the only ones they remember. I think they're going to remember what happened right at halftime, and they're going to be hungry for throwing the ball. And here we go. Welcome back to the second half. Colby ahead against the Wildcats. All right, where's Edgar, my sheet? Edgar, looking to roll back. Back to receive for Edgar. And another and touchback. Bruce sends it into the wow. end zone. Touchback. So Edgar is coming out on offense. Wade talking about that if you're Edgar, maybe it's time to lessen up on that running game for now. Let's know. see what the passing game can open up for them. I don't know. I would even be surprised if they come out with the exact same play that they started out in the first set off here. A little bit really? of trickery coming out there. See if they can get their quarterback coming out the wide. And then by third down, I'd be throwing the ball. Tight formation for Edgar. Showing run. Snap. Handoff up the middle is Carter and not any kind of room. Yeah, Robita on the initial tackle there. Brought him down. Roba dope Robita. And you know what? I saw number 77 there at the bottom. We haven't Logan Stitchin! Oh, there Finally you go. get to call your name. <laughs> there he is. Second down and five. You know, that's the weird part about or second down and four. Second down and four. Second down and six on a four yard game. That's the weird part with Carter. <laughs> like uh it looks like they bring him to a grinding halt, but he's cracking like close to five yards a carry, but it's just seems like it's not enough like you guys just went through with the stats. Yeah. Here I agree. at halftime. You gotta make it to the first down marker to make it uh make it count. He's got running backs in the backfield with him. Goals hey, opposite the way Ooh, he's got a good eight, block on the outside, but it's going to be a block in the back. Real estate ahead of him, and rope a Robita rolls him out of bounds, but there's a flag on the play. It, and we got a Colby player it's down. It's going to be a cheap it's, shot on Wheezy. It's Wheezy's gonna, slow to get up, but he gets yeah. back up. Edgar is uh, helping him up. Good sportsmanship right there. That's here. good, but he Maybe got blindsided on that on that block. It's it. This he is going to be blocked. Yeah, he's got... This will be block in the back on Edgar, almost guaranteed. A block in the back? Yeah, so he was coming around the corner, and the guy came in and speared him? Nope, they call it holding. They called it holding? Yeah. Wow, really? Well, wow. he got smoked in the back, so <laughs> they missed one, or else that's what they called the hold. Because huh. he was held against the ground, because he couldn't move, because he got leveled. Um, I would not want to get speared in the back, especially if I did not see it coming. And that's going to push him back, push him back, way back. Those are Second the worst, down and 16. Those are the worst kind of spearings, the ones you don't see. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Edgar oh. deep in their own territory. Looking to see if they can get back to that original line of scrimmage. Oh. Starts up the middle. No room. Just smashes that line of scrimmage, there. and there was nowhere to go. Domer. Domer's on the bottom of the pile, like usual. Big stop. But still trying to find a carry. He hasn't had a carry over six yards. Yeah, that's crazy. And Steve? Carter Butts long is four. There you go. Eight His longest carry is four yards. Eight carries, 17 yards. Well, he ain't going to get it on this one. He's got to be getting frustrated if you're him, wouldn't you think? I don't I think know. Here, here's your chance for that pass that Wade's been looking for. I don't know. Do you throw it from your own goal line here? You just run this ball to punt it. Carter almost springs loose. Gets a big carry past the original line of scrimmage. Healy pulling him down, going for the ball there, but good run. Yeah, no kidding. Ooh, couple Edgar enough. guys slow to get up. Number 74 and 44. Look like they collided out there. Ooh, ouchie, ouchers. He's limping, coming off. Fourth down and five. That's a big fit, uh, big five yards to go for the first down, and Edgar not going to take any chances. They're going to bring out the pump team. Take any chances. They're on the 25, Matt. <laughs> on their 25. <laughs> on their 25, yep. Rue and Lopez in the back. It was a low punt, punt last time. Line drive. It's high in the air! Go get him! Go get him! Holy's running! Get him. 
Gets in the end zone, and he's going to toss it out of bounds. Smart heads up play. It's going to be a safety. Wow. A great heads up play. Oh, any, that's better than a touchdown. Any Panther wrong. player would have tried to run that out, but he's like, dude, nope, I'm going to toss it out. Worst part, still got tackled. <laughs> <laughs> that was number seven. Or no, who was that hard 55. on his face? 55? Because uh, you could only be a kicker if your number is 55. No, no, no. Who was hard on his heels? I thought it was number seven, but I don't see a seven in the in the lineup. Oh, for our Weezy. side? Yeah, Weezy It was Weezy. It had to been, yeah. yeah. Weezy just put on the Jets. He's like, want that touchdown, want that touchdown, want that touchdown. But great heads up play by Edgar to, to basically – Save that six points so right now. A question it's for you, Matt. Now, where does he punt the ball from? He is going to kick it from the 30 or 40, doesn't it? 40 yard line? The 20. 20. What? It's a punt, too. It's a punt, not a kickoff. Well, that's not very fair. I know, right? <laughs> that, it's the extra punishment for getting a safety. Yeah, well, don't, don't go that way. Got to go to the other way. Don't go that way. <laughs> so, oh, man. And last time he punted it. You know, not last, last time. Because last time he did punt it. Oh, no, they do he let threw him it kick. into the end zone. It was they a line drive kick. punt. They let him kick? I thought it had to be a punt. Oh, they got the tee out. What? Might be a different rule for high school than... Uh, just different rules at Edgar here. No, it's, I think it's a high school rule. I think they let Oh, you there's new lineups in the backfield. Healy and Lopez. Yeah, I think Hagen's kind of saying, like, you know, we got short yardage here. Let's, uh, let's see if... Healy can get out there and put the motor on. 74 kicking now. Yeah, that's uh, Graven. I wonder what happened to 54. Whoa! He Whoa. thumps it. Got it. That's going to drive Lopez back. Finally picks it up. Trying to get some blockers. Nope. Weaves past a few people and brought down at the 30-yard line. That was some hard tackling, and he's, he had to get some extra help getting up. Weird. Yep, first down, Colby. Bumgartner on the tackle for Edgar. Now a chance for Colby to make it a three-score game. Wow. Weird. How about that? I wonder why he just jogged back for that ball. Like, I wonder he what, what? The, just jogged back think, for that ball. I don't think he realized that it was a live ball initially. Hmm. Like, the punter? No. no um, Lopez. Oh, I see. Here's the handoff. Healy. Rue's got it. it. Oh, it's Rue. Bust to the outside. Oh, the ball comes out. And the ball snaps out. And Colby maintains possession. Give it. You know, give mad props. Stitching for on a heads up play. Wow. Give mad props for Edgar. This is the most I've ever seen Colby fumble in a game. When they're getting hit, they're getting popped. I'm telling you, that field is probably stopping wet and full of turpentine. I, it's got to be. <laughs> I'm t I'm telling you. It is it's baby oil everywhere out there. I it don't is know, just but slippery. Still they are interceptions, fumbles, like who nobody can hold was on, to on the, the ball. big hit on Rue? I think that was Wasn't a Bumgarner kid. Straight? No, not straight. It was a Bumgarner on the tackle. First and ten Colby. Shotgun formation. Whiteouts on either side of him. Tailbacks on either side of him. Handoff. Healy, Healy. up the middle. Blasts. Lowers the shoulder. Edgar driving him back. Solid five-yard gain for Healy. Yeah, Healy Bumgartner again. That kid uh, is his everywhere. His tackler, number 44, Bumgartner. What kid's everywhere? Bumgartner. Yeah, Bumgartner, number 44 in your programs. He's a junior. Plays tight end and defensive end. Chalk it up at 6'4". Tall dude. Ah, oh, that's why. He's out there because... When he leans over, he's he's right there. Well, it's, it's easier to run fast when you got long Same legs. Same formation from before. Meyer gets the snap. Hand off to Healy. He's going to try the right side. Gets some key blocks. Finally, he dragged down. By who? By a yard or two short of the first down marker. Third down. By Bumgarner. By Bumgarner. <laughs> gets brought, gets brought <laughs> it's down get, by Bumgarner. It's getting easier. <laughs> Just run away from that kid. Like, don't go by Bumgarner. <laughs> That would be what the next offensive play. Hey, speaking of kids, what happened to Higgins? Remember Higgins and Stencil? Yeah. We were calling them and saying them blockable, but they are they kind of disappeared on us here. Well, we're running to the outside now. We're not just bashing our head up against the middle. For sure. Third down and two. We're at the 50. Snap. Handoff. Healy up Never the mind. middle. Right up the Gets middle. Gets stopped early, but... Fighting for that first down and extra yards. Wow. Pushes the pile and extra three. He's going that way. Wow. 
power running there by Healy. By who? By Bumgartner. And Bumgartner on the stop again. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and Healy now over 100 yards rushing. Wow. And there you go. 20 carries, 103 yards. Ball spotted at the 46. Yep, Haley at 103 yards. Longest of the day, 15. Here's that tight formation made famous by Regis and Abbotsford. Here's the snap. It's Lopez. Gets it. Shakes and bakes and then runs over the tackler. And a little bit of extra what there, there at the end. Yeah. Got hit behind by Butt. <laughs> <laughs> number 30, All by 30 number on the initial, Justin Davis on the tackle, and then Butt Davis came in and later on the back. and just hit him from behind. It was odd. Late like his, hit. Like his feet were up, and then he came in and hit his feet, uh -huh. and that's what lunged him forward like I that. See. Gain of four. Second down. Or I thought it was a gain of four. Second down. Oh, gets Robert. pitched to Rue. Runs. Whoa. Bounces off of a would-be tackler and fights. Pass the first down marker. Who did he bounce off of? Was that 17? Looks like he bounced off of Norman. 21. It was. And then Carter, yeah, brings him down. That first no, it was guy 17. tried to lower the shoulder on him, but Tevin just bounced Norman and 10. pushed him back and said third down and one. Didn't get past the first down marker. Ugh. Big drive for Colby here late in the third quarter. Edgar needs a big defensive stop. Third and Line short. shifts. Handoff. Uh -oh. Healy, they knew it was coming. He was stopped short. It's going to be real close. Nope, he got it. Eh, maybe not. Looks like he got it by two football lengths. Stencil had him, but he squirted right past him. You saw the line shifting. They knew it was going to Healy up the middle, and it wasn't going to be enough. And it's going to be a first down, Colby. Well, this is just what they wanted. Take a bunch of time off the clock. I don't know why the clock's not running. Move the chains. Un oh, yeah, I was going right. to say, once they move the chains and get it set, just like college rules, then it starts going. Oh, Man, crazy. all the things we're learning today. Oh, my goodness. So many rules. <laughs> so many rules. So many rules. Here we go. Shotgun formation. Meyer surveys. He's ready. Snap. Hand off to Healy. He's been the workhorse this so, so far this half. Gets stopped short. Picks up one half a yard. On the tackle, number 61 for Edgar. So Lopez not really getting the touches like he was getting in the first half. No, he just hasn't been effective. I wonder if his ankle is still giving him grief or if he's just... Uh, or maybe it's Haley's turn. Maybe they were just saving him up. I don't know. Lopez, seven carries for 30 yards. But yeah, Healy, whoo, he's getting a lot... 22 carries so far. Yeah, running full-time offense and defense. He's gonna get. He's gonna be a tired boy he's here. We're gonna have boy. to uh, give him uh, a little bit of break here for a little bit. I'd expect more. Taylor. Real yep. tight formation. There's Lopez. Yep. There's your Solid Higgins. three-yard gain. Higgins again. I don't know why we keep running him on the outside, or right up the middle. Like Higgins has got Mateo's number. Like it's. <laughs> those two are like, like, yep, you're coming on over. I'm gonna tackle you. Okay. Sorry, I thought that was a gain of three, gain of two. Third down and five. Spotted on the 31-yard line. Oh, maybe we're gonna throw it. Wade smells pass in the air. <sighs> and it's thick. It's a thick pass you know. here. That's a that's a big passing formation. Rule, offset. Robita on the line, drops back to pass, lobs it, opposite side, and it goes incomplete. They were trying to get it to Healy, and they are going to throw it over the top of his head. Trying to do a little bit of misdirection right there, yeah. but he got, wow, he was what still a big rush there it. by, was that 53 on the first yes. rush? That was intentional. It was a screen pass, so the yeah. offensive lineman released and went out to block, but, you know, they're just... Edgar's just too fast right now to get Edgar in. Edgar had a wall slowly. of defenders right there. R R Healy had no real estate. Hagen is going for it. Well, he, got another, he ain't going to kick a field goal here. And might as well not punt. This means he's got a lot of confidence in his defense. Let's not throw another screenplay. Pass. Delayed handoff. Healy going to run. Going to fight for that first down marker. Still fighting. Going to leave the pile. He might have it. It looks like he's real close, folks. Not a healthy spot, We're all though. just waiting. First Bandit. down. And that's going to be a first down. What a, gu <laughs> what a gutsy call. He needed that extra push at the end. What a gutsy call. We were all predicting pass on there, and then he wow. did a delayed handoff. But what a Stencil perfectly literally got carried about three, four yards on that, that ball. He had him by the ankles, and he just got dragged along with him. 
Healy was not going to give up that first down to anybody. It's the spin move. Edgar's got to buckle down. If they're going to hold Coley back, they can't afford to give up a score right here. Mateo coming around the corner. Mateo's going to go around the outside, and a great tackle there by Weisenberger. And that's going to stop him to holding him to Zero. back to the line of scrimmage, apparently. <laughs> or they're going to repeat first down. Game oh, and it's a penalty on Colby. Oh, two guys in motion. What do we got here? Yeah, so penalty is going to go against Colby. We don't know what the call is. It's illegal shift. There yeah. you go. Not supposed to do that, apparently. Nope. It's too much shift. Too much shift. <laughs> Clean up the shifts, okay? <laughs> well, first and 15 or second and 10? Which one do you like better? Oh, yeah. oh, nope, the scoreboard's keep it up, Wade. There we go, first and 15. There we go. No, no, no I'm just saying, like, first and 15 oh, or second and 10? It's like, all relative. Yeah. yeah, it's potato, potato. It's got a guy at I formation. Healy oh, moved a Healy little moved. bit again! And a flag on the play. Not gonna, they stripped the ball, but it's not going to count. Edgar says we got the ball, nope. but it's not ball going start. to It's not going to count because a flag was thrown. It was a false start before that, so the play never happened. Yeah, so like they don't let the offense play out like Steve was saying before. They called the play dead. <laughs> Healy, an uncharacteristic, uh, almost seemed like a little bit of jitters right there. He like, had happy feet. I know, he's sudden, getting tired. Like he's yeah. just He's getting tired. He's getting tired. That's what happens when you get tired. The ball oh, by rights too. He has twenty two carries for hundred and six yards. And he's got a touchdown to his name. The do you just do you kick the field goal now or is what it <laughs> <laughs> Steve, what were you gonna say? Well, a lot of the Edgar fans screaming for the fumble, but the play doesn't exist. It was whistled dead, just nobody Absolutely. heard it. Well, it would have been a nice time to have a fumble if you're the Edgar fan squad. The clock doesn't First run and during 20. These. We could just waste the clock doing this all day. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, lots of time did go away. Three minutes and 40 seconds. Now another flag. Another flag! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Something seems weird about this. Three offensive penalties in a row. First down and 25. By the time Colby gets a play going, they're going to be on their own 30. Uh, but the clock I'm telling is you, still running. We might just do this. This might little do it again. Wade's got a great conspiracy <laughs> theory going on here, folks. You could literally end an entire quarter doing this. This would be hilarious. Finally, there's a snap. Oh, it's going to be a whole. It's going to be a carry by Meyer, and he's going to get stopped. I don't even think he picked up a yard. Maybe he picked up a half a yard. Second down. All right, another. How much time just came off the clock? Another five full starts, and then another one-yard run will be out of the third quarter. No, but honestly, how much time just came off that clock? Did well, two minutes come off? Three? So between first down and this down, it was at 3:40, and it's at 2:50 right now. So I know, but even before that, like there was a bunch of time on the clock yet. Tight formation for Colby. Looks like they're going to run it again. Here goes Rue. Got some blockers patiently waiting. Things are opening up. He's still, still running. running and finally gets caught up by Carter Butt and dragged near or just past the 30 yard oh, marker. And he stayed in bounds. Big run by Tevin Rue. Oh. Uh oh. We got a down player that's Norrington. Oh, that's a good way to stop the clock, though. And it's a cramp. Get that guy some pickle juice. Along with straight, 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 straight. Along with straight. Not sprite, but straight. All right. I think we'll take a break here real quick. While yeah, we're going to we'll let the personnel take care of Norrington. You don't go anywhere. We'll come right back. Welcome back, everybody. Norrington is, he's well, walking under his own two feet, sipping some water. He's feeling good. 
Well, I, don't I mean, know if he's feeling good. Quite not, maybe not feeling good, but <laughs> he's better moving. than expected. Yeah. <laughs> so he um, he's gonna take a rest. Maybe he'll come back into the game. Third down in. Oh boy. 14. 13. Yeah, 14, 15 yards to go. Ball spotted on the 29. And now we have a equipment issue. Who's the equipment issue? Uh, it's actually Strike. I was having an issue with his um, chin strap. Oh, there we go. It is just... Strike, uh, that's the end of the quarterback. Two for here. nine for 51 yards on the game. Meyer under center. Third down. Fake handoff. It's a pass. He's got time. Oh my goodness. He's got out of the end zone. Receiver, and it's oh, caught. Come in. Oh my goodness. Zone. Touchdown, Kobe. <laughs> right in the old Ben Brassic. That was fantastic. What a pass I right on not, the money. Wow, I did not think he was going to get feet in. Healy had no other steps to gain or to give. Right on the money. All steps given on that one. Big pass play right on. Just drops a dime. Big score for Colby here in the final moments. What a weird drive. Colby he almost puts this defense in a lack of days ago days with like four offensive penalties in a row. And then they get a 10 yard spat from Rue. And then all of a sudden you have a 24 or no, a 29 yard touchdown pass to Healy. Back end zone. Kick is up and it, it is, is good. good. Two minutes and four seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Colby racking it up. 25, Edgar, six. Commercial break, cue in now. Living every day to the fullest. Giving hugs and laughing loudly. Bringing joy to those you love. Vaccines set us free to live openly. Schedule yours today. You know what were we doing we're just taking a break along with you that's right but we're back now we're just tasting some of this delicious edgar popcorn from the concession stands oh, fantastic they got a great crew there keeping everybody fed everything's humming along it is the right amount of salty it is oh, fantastic I, yes not too salty wow man is he can kick that ball roast says enough of this arch stuff i'm just line driving it out of bounds or out of the back of the end zone do you think he's going to get recruited? I don't know. If he doesn't, um, it will be a shame. That kid's got an iron foot. Well, he's a senior. So you think the murmurs of recruitment should be starting right? Yeah, because, like, how often do you see a kicking talent like that? I don't know. Uh, that's uh, Usually you'll see kickers walk on and then get a scholarship. I see. So I don't think he'll necessarily get a scholarship, but I'm sure if he went somewhere big and walked on, he could probably get Well, I saw the Badgers kicking at the last game. They could use him. <laughs> Carter bounces it to the outside, gets tripped up by his sister number, Healy. I don't know if Healy actually touched him. Oh, so who got him? I think the dirt got him. <laughs> oh, like, I he think he footing. literally just lost footing on it and took a, took a tumble. No gain on the play, second down and 10. Turf monster? <laughs> Turf monster Edgar's got him. Edgar's not wasting any time, and I would agree with this. Like, you're running out of time to play this game. It's Flag a is down. Lob it deep, down. he's wide open. Oh, Lopez with not the interception! Uh -oh. Straight drops uh -oh. back to pass. Uh -oh. He's got a cramp. He's got a cramp. It, and it's intercepted. Double leg cramp. I thought I saw the ref throw something, but I guess no flag. And it said it's intercepted. Oh, no. Lopez is still on the ground. He's got a cramp. How do you, why would you say that? They've got his feet up elevated, and they're rubbing it with uh, these weird sticks. Oh, the little rolly sticks. Yep. I use those in cross country. Speaking of cross country, 
Yes. We're, I'm going to be up getting highlights at the Smiley up at Wasa East tomorrow. Hey, I'm going to be up there to watch my, watch our niece run. Oh, Willow yeah. She, her, her foot's feeling better. She had a stress fracture, so she wore a, Supposedly. Franken, a Frankenstein foot or type like shoe for <laughs> school for two weeks. And now she kind of like does this weird, uh, uh, now that she took it off, she must have got lopsided. So now she does this little like. She's actually taller on one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now. Like yeah. she got lengthened on one side. So when she runs cross hill, she can run uh, full speed now. <laughs> but yeah, Steve, you're gonna be out at the Smiley. You're gonna be out at the Smiley, getting some highlights for everyone. So but you'll be able to check that out. That's Saturday a huge night. race. That's a huge race, and that's by. Wait, I don't know if you knew this. So for Smiley, that's by. That's um. You are um, invited. You not everybody can go. Like you have to hit a certain time mark to be able to participate. Oh, really? Yep. So not everybody can go. So it's fast. Tight formation here at the 50. Here's a handoff. Rue. It's going to go to the Rue. On the outside. Shreds. A couple of tacklers. Dives underneath another one. Flag. And flags go, go. flying as he is dragged down field. past the 45. Ooh. So it's going to be, man, how many penalties on Colby here? I'll find out here in just a moment. Three? The penalties from the 49, it was downfield, or the 40, 46, it was downfield. Interesting. I don't know, but so uh, the Edgar sideline got yelled at by the ref on that side. They like, must have been losing their mind over that call. They were getting yelled at? Yeah. By the, the refs? The head uh, ref came over and yelled at their sideline. So they must have been getting a little wrong. sideline warning. Next time is an automatic unsportsmanlike conduct. No kidding. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, Against the whole team? It's a team foul, yeah. Interesting. First down and 10. Now, first down and 16. Handoff goes to Healy. Swings it to the outside. Reaching and lunging. And he's going to pick Edgar. up about like maybe five That's or six Apple yards. Back. I guess it's only two. <laughs> it yeah. looked more than that. <laughs> Second think, down and long. I think his knee hit, and then he kind of bounced That's back up. That's what for it a was. He's further. a tall dude. So how many penalties? Where do we see that on here? Penalty. I bet three for six 18. for thirty-seven. Six. Oh my gosh! Wow, that is a high mark. That's too many. Only one on Edgar. Edgar Line, three for twenty. Uh, sorry, there's three. Meyer under center, closing seconds here. He's just kind of waiting. Hope, hoping they can. There's a snap. Up the middle. Oh, Baumgartner immediately Baumgartner, on the tackle. Yep, oh, bringing Healy. him down. Healy immediately. Slow to get up, though. I don't think Healy got a good handle on that one ever. No, he was falling forward as he got it. I think he was almost falling at uh, Baumgartner's feet as he was going into it. Third down and long for Colby. Well, they'll take this one into the fourth quarter. Yep. Won't Colby's just going to let play. these milk out, yeah. Man, so Edgar showing signs of frustration. Referees had to come over and say, like, hey, guys, you got to calm down a little bit. He's like, go, go, <laughs> too much yelling. I think the reason that they were kind of upset there, the officials, they were making the call. They just weren't making it fast enough. I see. Well, they had like, two flags thrown on it. They had two flags thrown. They made the call, and it was the right call. But the problem was is that they, the refs, I think, were making sure that they had the opportunity. I, I looked like the one was grabbing, like he wasn't getting to the flag in time. Like he, he kept missing the, missing the little ball on the flag to try and throw it. Because of the time was ticking away on him. That's why. Yep. They were get, okay. And then well, I think that's why the referee threw it, because he saw his umpire not able to grab it and just threw it out there to kind of get everybody settled down a little bit. There you go. But some frustration. I mean, you know, Edgar has been... You know, Edgar's been one of those teams that's been, you know, near the top, at the top, and all of a sudden Colby comes into their conference and beats them twice in a row. It's been a, been a while since anybody other than Stratford's probably beaten Edgar more than once in, once or twice, once in a row. This, that's what I mean. Like, this is such – because, like, you know, we talked about it before, Steve, where you're like, well, you know, Colby's a Division Five. It's a bigger school than Edgar. But Edgar is a powerhouse team, and you're right. This is not a usual scorer that they've seen probably in a decade. Oh, easily. We can't be that much bigger than Edgar. Uh, about a, about 110 students. Really? They're yeah, that how about that? short. Colby's 300 and a little over 300 this year. Um, Abbott, or Edgar just under 200. Wow. Colby facing a third down. 
Yikes. Gets it with a rush and he gets sacked by Butt. Butt came out of nowhere. Butt helping him back up. They were trying to line up a passer, but Butt just fired off of the line and gets the sack. No ifs, ands, or buts on that one. Ha! Huh. There you go. Fourth down for Colby. And a much needed, um, a much needed punt Stop. for Edgar. Like, they're just like, thank you. If you're Edgar, you Throw don't it. really have a lot of time to stick to the running game. You gotta, you gotta air it out. That's the best part of this. Throw the ball. Here's a punt. Oh, partially blocked, it looks yep, like. they got some hands on it. Rots. Not touching it. Rolling it away. And then finally he downs it. Right on the 30. That's going to bring out the Edgar offense. I mean, They're that, going to go high tempo. That's a good pun considering somebody got a hand on it. Right. Absolutely. So, I mean, there again, that's that power that Tucker Brost has in that leg that you don't see too often. Under the tutelage of John Kleinschmidt. Well, he's... An excellent punter from the Green Bay Packers. For at least a preseason. <laughs> <laughs> Still, to be at any sort of that level. That guy... That's pretty impressive. I forget how many pounds he could bench press. 400 pounds? 300 pounds? I couldn't remember. Oh, I'm sure it's more than 300. Snap. Juggles the snap. Oh, and Tegan trying to spring loose. Makes Healy the first guy him. miss it, and Healy gets him. You know, really good sportsmanship being it shown. Is. Like I a agree. great respect on each wow. half I or agree. each side of the ball. Not chippy at all. I figured you, that towards this late in the game, it was going to totally, get a little bit bad. Totally different than last year's game. Yeah. Last year's game, there oh. was a lot of bitterness. But now on this one, it's more of like... They probably hey. got yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> so much that I think they've realized that they're both excellent programs right now at the top of the area. Exactly. Mutual respect. Hand off up the middle, but... Wow! Was that Rots on the first stop, huh? I would say Rue, actually. Rue and Rots teaming up there, bringing up to a stop. Third down and five. Carter just never got anywhere past. Let's see here. What happened to Domer? Whoa, Car Butt's longest run is 13. I was going to say he couldn't get past six yards, but yeah. 11 carries, 32 yards. And that 13, Tough yard, day. that 13 yard run was on that um, very long third down play they had right at the huh. beginning of the half. That okay. Tough, tough day for Carter. Here's it's the stand, throw. drops back to pass, steps up in the pocket, lobs it up and over, and it's broken up by Wheezy. No, Meyer. Oh, sorry, broken up by Meyer, almost intercepted. Man, I thought he was gonna get that. Pass intended for Norrington, it was, it was within the hands of Norrington, but it wasn't high enough on that jump ball, and Meyer got his hands on it, and it might have been more of that Norrington just swatted out of Meyer's hands. Meyer was just waiting. He was just watching the receiver off, but as soon as the receiver stopped, Meyer jumped the ball, and mm -hmm. it hit him right in the hands. He just I don't think he saw it coming. Just no preparation on it, and the ball was immediately upon him. Edgar. Fourth and five in deep territory. This is, this is it right here. It's fourth quarter. Oh, he is punting, punting it. And they're punting it. And no one back I to receive. snap again. Gets up. Oh, it's a squib kick. And it's going to roll gently to the... Uh-oh. More cramps. Six. I'm telling you, these kids got to lay off the, the soda pop. Remember Cramp Watch 2019? <laughs> it was like How every insane game. That, so in case anybody doesn't know, if you go to the Hornets test, we did a post-game highlight about this almost every single home game, and it was called the uh, cramp watch. You Constant. always had three or four kids cramping up in a game. And <laughs> at one point, Wade offered, hey, listen, we have these extra jars of pickles. In five-gallon buckets. From, from the coop. <laughs> Please just make your players drink this. That's right. We will, we will donate five we'll gallons donate at a time. juice for you. First down and 10, Colby getting to work on the 46-yard line. Looking to see if they can put this game away. Edgar looking to see if they can get Nine an opportunity minutes. This to get is this one ball drive back. Here. Tight formation, snap. Hand off to Lopez. Makes first guy miss. Finally gets roped down. By number eight here, Weisenberger. By Tegan and Eisenberger. Gets right past the 50-yard line, and that's going to be... That's not the 51, it's the 49. <laughs> yeah, this isn't Canadian football. <laughs> it's not Canadian football. 
But biggest thing, I mean, you've got a manageable second down, and that clock just keeps ticking. Yeah. Yeah, Colby is... No hurry to get to the line here. You're going to keep an eye on, won't see it on camera, but keep an eye on the back judge. He's going to be counting these out. Meyer not even going under center until the hand goes up for the 10-second warning. Handoff goes to Rowe. So makes that. it to the Flag left. Comes in. Jukes gets a block from Lopez. Cuts it back into Today the middle. Today throw a flag that a block in the back. Yep. Yeah, Rue jumped on top of that kid's back. Well, it couldn't be Rue. He was the guy with the ball. So, yeah, Rue I looked at gets the wrong a pass. Then. First down marker close to the 40-yard yep. line. But it's a penalty on Colby. And that one way in the backfield. So that's going to lose all the yards they gained, mine, plus oh, one. Oh, it's five is who it was. Colby so, with another easy. penalty. Their seventh or eighth of the game. Find out here in a moment. That is a huge penalty, though, because that one was called all the way back at the 39. <laughs> Hagen's going to lose his mind. Yeah. If you're looking at this like we're in the fourth quarter, this is, this is clutch time. We don't want to ed let Edgar get back into this game. And then we got these costly penalties. So that's now penalties for, that's seven for 42. Yep. And actually a little bit more. I got to edit that penalty. Edgar looking to see if they can pounce on this opportunity. So oh, that was a bad idea. Healy's going to get smashed. 73. Let's give it to him. Yonker. Yonker just blasted through that line. Not going to be blocked. It was Yonker and Higgins unblocked. I don't know why we, we thought that uh, the delay, like anything but in delay, Higgins been all over the top of it. We've been literally just running away from Higgins. Mm -hmm. And then we do a delay handoff. Granted, we had the one success on our, our pass, but they know we're going to run the ball. We're not yep. throwing the ball yet. Healy was on the carry. That's a five-yard loss, and that's going to bring up a third down and well, basically forever. Then they're going to run this one too. Third down at 27, shotgun formation. Here's the oh snap, my drops There's back, no pass, way. rolls out. Goes down deep, and it's gonna be jumped up. Incomplete, Robita, covered by Jeepers. 17, 11, and nine. By Tegan, and who's number Strite. nine? You got Strite, you got Shuett. And Shuett. And honestly, Robita ended up being more the cornerback there. He was breaking up the interception. I know, those guys, those guys sniffed out Robita. And he there's four of you, and there's only one Kobe, guys. Yeah, not, not the greatest idea. Fourth down and 26. Seven minutes and 32 seconds remaining in your ball game. See if, it looks like Edgar might be going all out for the block here. Oh, they got two guys back here. Yeah, but everybody else pretty close, and... Good block. Big Not punt by Brost. Wrangled up. Carter. Going running. backwards. Sheds a first tackler. And he's going to get brought down by Rotz. And looks like number 56, right, Wade? Yeah, Rotz, I would give the credit to. He roped him down, and then Ulrich just kind of jumped on him. Jumped on top of him to finish it off. Seven minutes and 20 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. In the entire ball game. Edgar's going to come out with a first and ten. Oh. 41. Throw it. <laughs> Throw, Throw it. Ball. Throw I mean, it. If you're Edgar, you have to. You, you need have no score. choice at this point. Like, you Throw can't it. run it. Well, let's see if they exploit uh, over at Meyer here. I mean, you're down 19, so you can technically, it's technically three possessions, but, you know, with, you have, well, no, it's three possessions, but you got to. Uh, it's going to be a pass Zamora. play. Oh, Zamora missed him. Has a deep pass sideline. Did he catch it? Nope. nope. Dropped it. And it's going to be and incomplete. And Weezy, Weezy is kinda having some cramps. A bit. He's like, ah, I'm going to come off. Well, if he comes off, there's no timeout, so Edgar can't regroup on the sideline. Mm -hmm. He so is gonna going run, to make run, it. Run, 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 run. To and the far sideline, Edgar bringing out more personnel. Wally falls right to the ground. Yeah, He's in well, bad shape. Those hamstrings cramp up, and that's about as bad as it gets. Oh. Edgar well, at least the is clock looking stops. to see if they can just pick up some positive yards. Second down and 10. Tegan in shotgun formation gets the snap. Throwing Deep it long. Lob, sideline, and it's going to get caught. Pass is 
brought in right in the old breadbasket to shoe it right over the top of Robita. Big game for Edgar, just what the doctor ordered. Right off the Here bat, comes single Wildcats. coverage, put the other guy in motion to move the, the other uh, wide back off the back side there. It's a great play, great play. I don't know why they haven't been thrown all game. Yep, absolutely, big 45 yard gain right there. First and 10, here comes Edgar. Four wide. They're going all receiver, high snap. Oh, Slips he stumbles, bit, and he's, and he's brought sacked. down by Voss. Gavin Voss on the sack. Lost his footing, had nowhere to go. Voss finishes him off, second down. Oh, well, this is the wet side of the field. <laughs> Time is ticking away. Time is precious, precious real estate at this point. If you're the Wildcats. Expect uh. another pass play if you're the Wildcats. You gotta try to make something happen. Strike, shotgun formation, Carter behind him. Ooh. High snap, no gets play? it. Off to oh, Carter. Oh man, there that looked runs. like a full start. Gets. Stopped by Gets Meyer. His legs cut from underneath him by Meyer. Wow, there was no Third flag down. on that for him getting tackled. The whole offensive line jumped before the ball got snapped. Oh, no kidding! <laughs> I, I didn't see that. We almost had a chance for the greatest call ever false start, everyone but the center. Yes, <laughs> so who I am that one? bizarre. That is absolutely bizarre that that was not called. Carter is uh, Carter Butt is limping a little bit out there right now. I can only imagine he's he's had a lot placed on his shoulders in this game. Got to imagine two down territory here for Edgar. But off to the left of Strite. Oh, same play as last time here. Single coverage. Rotation. He's going to throw it to the left. There's a pass deep corner. Not coming this guy. Just get goes to it. Away. Robita was all over that. Pushes him out of bounds. Pass is incomplete. Same same play as uh, the one that got him down here. Put 17 in motion, single coverage in the corner. They actually brought over two, but it was a little bit late on the Kobe side and Kobe did not even turn around to look at the one. ball. Nope. Yeah. He's like, I'll push him out of bounds if I have to. Big fourth down for Edgar. Trying to see if they can get a second score right here. Five minutes and 17 seconds remaining in your ball game. You could hear a pin drop in this place. It is place. dead quiet. It is quiet. I figured our student section would be yelling or doing something. People are tired. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh. Here's the snap. Throwing it to the left again. Pass, throws it to the left. Goal. Wide He's open. Good. He would have walked into the end zone. Carter was right there and only Lopez in front of him. Oh. He's having a hard time. Pickle juice. Yep, that was a fourth down, juice. and now yep. bring out your hoarded offense. First down, Colby. Three first downs could end it. Three Steve's first doing downs. the quick first math downs. right here. Three or four. Oh, and he's already mattering on how fast they get to him. First guess. Yeah. He's putting four on. <laughs> Five minutes and twelve seconds remaining here. Well, I bet they go right back to the middle, running right into the brick wall. So we might see Higgins again. <laughs> I think you're doing straight handoffs to Lopez. Just let him stick his nose in the line and fall forward. I still, th I would just, I think you got to play aggressive here. Get that first first down. Oh, this is going to be Lopez the Higgins, hundred percent. That's my that's my prediction. Meyer under center, swings it back. Oh, wow. no, it's still at the nope. middle. First guy he misses. It's Healy. He's in open Turn space. It open. He's running. He's at Keep the 30, running. the 20, no 20, the 10, the 5, touchdown, <laughs> Colby! I'm telling you, why not put on, put on the Jets, call up number 21, gets a seam, breaks some tackles, and he was gone. He ran so fast, I couldn't even keep up with the call. <laughs> that was, what, a solid one. 85 80, yards. 85. Takes it to the house. He's got 12 carries for 190 yards on the <laughs> I day. Th I think we found our Century 21 relentless player of the game. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I think it's, that was pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, he wanted that one. Colby going to be lining up for an extra point attempt. Here's a snap. Kick is up. And it's good. 
That guy is like clockwork. Ooh, wee baby! It is 32 to 6. Going into the end of the fourth quarter, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Don't go anywhere. Hi, this is Jason Miller from U.S. Seller and Northside Computers. Um, we're currently celebrating our 25th year of doing business here in Marshfield. Um, all the money that has been spent here um, is, you know, is spent at other establishments that we do business with. We employ local people. Uh, we've done, uh, we've sponsored numerous North Youth Apprenticeship programs and uh, sponsored, you know, sporting events and other things of that nature. Of all the places you could purchase a cell phone or a computer from, uh, we want to thank you for doing business with us. And we're back. So we're still trying to process our and wrap our heads around that last play. So wait, take it through. Uh, we were all expecting Lopez to get the ball and run right into Higgins, and that did not happen. They gave the ball to uh, Healy and come around the corner, and he had beautiful blocking, but it was basically just a loop around coming off the, the bottom side here, and he was untouched the whole way for 85 yards. Yeah, he and, and Steve was talking about that, how it was a beautiful play design because, like, the way that that delay kind of happened and then he just quick bounces it to the outside off tackle. Well, everybody was looking for the middle play coming off there. Like, everybody was expecting a dive to come right off the top, and he just ran right in front of the dive. Yeah. Steve, you were going to say something? I was just going to say, you know, you saw that end suck in on that fake, and once he was there, there was nobody on this field that was going to catch Caden Healy. No. Almost Once, sat him there at the end. I think he was running out of gas right at the end of that run. Well, and as he should, 26 carries, 190 yards. And Edgar two takes touchdowns. a timeout. Edgar, Edgar takes taking a timeout. On the kickoff, I'm wondering, and we'll keep it here, but I'm wondering if Mauer there was a putting his issue. Oh, yeah, Meyer putting his hands up like, excuse me? And then the coach is like, Hey, listen, listen. They might have been short somebody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, they were short somebody on the field. I mean, you don't want to kick off when you're short somebody on the field like that. That's yeah. just not a smart move. Let's see if 21's oh. out there. 21 is not out there. I wonder if that was what the issue was, because 21 uh, Edgar was is limping coming out <laughs> on the last time. The student section's getting chippy. Uh, uh, Colby basically making cheers of like, hey, the game's over. And then Edgar said, let's play volleyball. And now Colby says, we can't hear you. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. That's what high school football's about. The student section's getting into it. They so, should be oh, cheering yes. for the team and not against the yeah. student section. Like, it's no, just, that's no. what they should be doing. Personally, I've never been a fan They're of like, where you. School. Yes. Personally, I've never been a fan of like incorporating another sport. Like, let's. Unless you're going to say, like, let's run cross country. <laughs> <laughs> let's leg wrestle. It's something that everybody can do. Uh, Affleback. Affleback on the carry. Wow, big hit. I don't know who was on the initial hit there, Wade. He's right there. Number 71. Number Meyer. 71 in your programs. Meyer. Yep. Braxton, Braxton Meyer. Meyer. Big hit. Here comes the Edgar offense, looking to see if they, you know, just let's see if we can get in that end zone, guys. Let's see if we can get ourselves a fighting chance here in these, man, you know, if this was like the NFL, people would be like, four minutes? That's enough oh, time man. for... A couple on sides with that. That's enough time, time for Rodgers to throw the ball out of bounds <laughs> half a dozen times. But in high school sports, this is solid two possessions right here. Handoff is going to go up the middle and... Right to eight. That's to Weisenberger and Voss gets roped down. Wait, Voss. Rots. Voss was on the stop. Gelvin Voss. And Rots is saying, "Colby, I can't hear you." Asking the Colby fandom to cheer a little bit louder. Second down and ten. Nope. Second down. Sorry. Second down and twelve. Ball spotted on the twenty-five. And Edgar not in any hurry here. No, no. I think they've pretty much uh, sealed the deal. Which on this is one. this is kind of odd for. Edgar to run that that play. Oh, they got a wide out on the near sideline. Normington. Here's the snap. It's gonna be a handoff up the middle again. Colby not yeah. giving him any relief. No gain on the play. Twenty three on the carry, rots in the tackle. It's twenty three. That's Affelbeck that, oh, that is was Affelbeck. on the call. No gain. Or if it was, 
it was minimum. Third down and 12. Uh, number nine, walk it up. That's Shewitt, along with Streit. Shewitt's their big receiver. He's got all the catches so far. Well, two catches, 88 yards. Big 88 yards. Yes. That set up the touchdown. It's course. a throw. On Streit, scrambling, finds. He got him. And it's completed past the 30-yard marker. Some fancy running there by Streit. That was a good throw on the run there. No kidding, right flip, on the mic. That was fantastic. Fourth down and five. Could have done that a little bit more. I don't know. There's he paid the penalty for that one. Yeah, he got Yeah, smoked. he turned around and Healy was right on top Speaking of Speaking of smoked, you can see a little bit of uh, campfire haze from the neighbors there. Is there bomb fire? That's right. <laughs> that I wonder is if there's an amazing th place to watch a game from. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Um, at some point, maybe uh, Steve can pan over there to show like what kind of view that we're seeing. But uh, they must have been throwing the paper plates on there because a little bit more smoke rolled you know, onto the Some field. would call this an inversion. <laughs> this is an unstable atmosphere right now and <laughs> keeping the... the the smoke low to the ground. So it smells like a campfire right now. Edgar punts. Oh, he blocked. might have got a nick on it. Punter falls on his back. Rolls gently to the 34-yard line. Him. I think he hit the ball and he tripped over the top of him. Yeah, he tripped on the player. Yeah, he, yeah I don't think he hit him. I think yeah, he tripped on the player there. There was no malicious hit on there. No. Edgar Fandom still Professing that well, you gotta maybe the ref didn't get it right on that call. I don't know. It could be the smoke. Maybe. Oh, Steve, pan over there. This is the view that the neighbors have over there. Honey, do you want to watch football? Sure. Let's invite the family over. You know what? You could sell uh, like uh, tailgating tickets for that place. That would be like the hot I hot know. Place. You know how many sponsorships those guys oh, could get over there? Yeah, put some bleachers over there. They are missing the opportunity. We're, so. When I grow out and have the campfire to watch the Wildcat game, I count on the best charcoal in town. That's why I go to the Ace Hardware. <laughs> <laughs> With all of the advertising. Sponsors. Yeah. Well, hey, Edgar, that's a great spot. If you guys want to, like, advertise, like, some cooking, camping, or your local hardware spot, you get a hold of On Focus, you could make that spot into something special. When I get panned over and I have a big company over for a big football game, I want to make sure that lawn is nice and mowed over. That's why I count on John Deere lawnmowers. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, not John Deere lawnmower. John Sorry. Deere. So count generic on, lawnmower. Count on seed from, I'm trying to think who we have that sells seed on their sponsors. Oh, oh short lane egg You want to make, your lawn the, egg supply you wanna make the lawn the, the best that it could be? Count on short lane egg supply to get the best lawn seed care possible. And Looks that's like no JV joke. out there. 30 coming around Gavin the Gavin so Voss gets the call. Stiff arms. Runs and pushed out of bounds. Right, number 13 for Edgar. Gets pushed out of bounds near the 35 yard line, it looks like. That's Will Hackle for Edgar on the tackle or on the push out, whatever you want to call it. Hackle the stop. Force out. Voss is going to be a special runner for Colby, if you haven't noticed. That kid's got just like his older brother, but I would say he's a little bit faster than Mason. Oh, Mason sophomore. was an upright runner, but he had a. Big, broad shoulders. Gavin, same running style. It's got a little bit more quickness. First and 10. Hamer and Voss in the backfield. This is Hamer right up the middle. The quarterback. Whoa, Hamer time. Blasts up the middle. Gets it to the 38, 39, no, to the 38-yard line. Will Hackle again on the tackle. Not the 38-yard line. What are you doing, Matt? The 51-yard line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, one uh, one more first down, maybe. That's on the 41. So One minute and 53. If you're JV, you're like, no, we're not kneeling at coach. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, Pass play. Pass I've been play. waiting to play Edgar my whole life. Looking ahead for Colby, they've got a, they're back home next week. Yeah, homecoming game against Pittsville. Big, big game. Hamer and Voss in the backfield. That's a big week, too. Quarterback Lots keeper. of toilet paper. Smith. Smith, quarterback keeper. He's got some legs on his own. Rumbles into the first down marker territory. Tripped up by Maverick Butt. Tackled by Maverick Butt. But yeah, Colby's homecoming week is coming up next week, and they're going to be taking on Pittsville. 
32 to 6. Ooh. I think this holding. was a score that nobody expected. Steve and I talked I'm about totally. it early this week. We thought this was going to be a low scoring affair. So there's a penalty on that last play. Holding. Holding. But yeah, we thought this was going to be a low scoring affair. This was going to be a defensive juggernaut of a matchup, a grinding of a game. But it ends up being Colby showcasing that dynamic offense that they have. And that stout defense where they just shut down Wait, I Carter think... Butt. Mm. I think trying to figure out where the foul should be placed because I don't think it was placed in the right spot. Because that's a. Everybody's wondering what is going oh, on. I know what's They're wrong. like, we don't care. Run the clock. <laughs> <It's> literally. <laughs> Brandon of uh, Sports on Focus, <laughs> so casing off uh, some excellent pictures. So make sure you check out his material. Whoa. On, on, where do you post those pictures, sir? You're a share miter tonight, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I get, hey, check them out on uh, Sports on Focus, Abbotsford on Focus, or even on the Hornet's Nest. Check out those cool images. And these on Focus guys, they set up some really cool uh, post game reviews, get some great editing, pay by plays. They had a sideline. Pretty Film close. This guy do down it. there, cameraman, the if you will, got some great footage. And another kneel down. 30 seconds remaining. Edgar can't stop the clock. Wow, next week is a lot of big games. Edgar comes to Abbotsford. Edgar at Abbotsford, you got Pittsville. So you got at Edgar Colby. At Abbotsford, Pittsville at Colby. So then you've got Auburndale Marathon. So Auburndale, the other undefeated team in. Assuming they won. There tonight. you go. There's only one more. <laughs> and that is going to be the two, one, and that is the end of your ball game. Colby comes in and disrupts the home game for Edgar Wildcats. The fandom reminding Colby that they can play volleyball, but it doesn't matter because it was a football game here Friday night. Your final score, Colby, scoring big on the big bad Edgar Wildcats, 32 to six. So I'm assuming we had to go name and then go down and talk to our Century 21 relentless player of the game. Yeah, so Century 21, they said, you go find the player that made the biggest impact on that ball field. So we're going to go find that individual right now. Tucker Tony Brooks. Marshall, or are we just running down there? We'll do it down there. Okay, right, we're going to run. Oh, we're going to run down there right now. It's me? I can do it too. We should make way to it. Actually, Brad, I'd go get Tucker Brooks is who I'd get. <laughs> Steven, you never get to talk to Unless you want me to do it. I can do it. Steven wants to keep it as neutral as possible. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be like, it's okay, be like, tell me about Tucker Bros. <laughs> <laughs> you know that game? Oh, look at those guys, huh? We did. Yep. Just what did you think of last that? night? Not too bad. Serve! If you gotta serve underhand. <laughs> Both teams. Yeah. That was a big game. When you try to serve tough, that's what happens every That's what I mean. Kobe won two of their games by didn't 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 score, but you couldn't get it across the net. <laughs> it was good. It was a good match. Yeah, it was good. Learning of progress. Yeah. <laughs> They're fun for non-conference games. Uh, the only ones that matter are the conference ones. I thought Abbotsford got the ball really well. Yeah, good one. Oh yeah. Thompson and uh, Wilmer were hitting right. some. My drives. She was oh, yeah. still. Like, once I can right. get my freshman to start right. whacking them, yeah, gosh, she's big run. She's yeah. strong. We'll be lethal. I gotta get somebody to hit the ball besides just yeah. my two left yeah. sides. Uh, That's a problem. Work, man. That freshman had a lot of time. Did you put it to tonight? She don't jump. Did you put anything together? Uh, she hit it. it couldn't even get it half with half with half. 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 Like half. You know that hurts. I don't, I yeah. She just tried to overpower it. She's yeah. used to just being the biggest girl out. She's, she's going to have to jump something. What's that? She'll get there. That's what I mean. 
I mean, I'm so... Like, even like the yeah. interceptor, the guy hit it, and then he caught it, and he still turned up like 15 yards. Well, yeah, if you give me some material, there. like, I'm more likely to start what. building, like, for the next, like... That kicker. He's a weapon. He is tough. He punished them guys like well, I'll being tell you big what, is an advantage. That, that kicker put them in the oh, hole. Oh, here we go. All right, joined by our Century 21 Relentless Player of the Game, Caden Healy. Caden, kind of a workhorse today. I don't have my iPad in front of me, but about 23, 24 carries. Well over 100 yards. What was working offensively? Um, everything. You, they scored on us right away, and uh, that's when you just you don't give up. You don't put your head down there. Offense started clicking. The line started open up. Huge gaps. The sweep started open up. The zip started open up. Uh, I ain't gonna say too much, you know, because we gotta keep playing this year. But I mean, that was. Amazing. I can't run the ball without my line. Oh my Everyone should be in the right so now. So, yeah, it just started clicking. And then obviously defensively, it's a close game. You guys get the interception, the touchdown pass. Next play for Edgar, another interception. How much of a momentum change was that for you guys? After they, they I predicted 35 to 12. I was, I was passing on their side off, and they were going to something like that. That was a bad play. Yeah, Only a couple undefeated teams left now in the Marywood. You guys, Auburndale, Abbotsford. This is not a team to sleep on, though. That, nope. The record don't mean nothing. Now. That's a but um, how important is it for you guys to keep – to keep the focus up going into the next few weeks. We got Abbotsford coming up. We got Auburn Hill coming up. Not to look past Pittsville or any other teams like that. Um, we're not satisfied. We're still hungry. We're ready to play. All right, sounds good. Our Century 21 Relentless Player of the Game, Caden Healy. Caden, I think you got a couple other guys I want to talk to. We're going to grab Coach Hagen here in just a few minutes. Stick around. Thank you. Good job. It was a really big bummer for Colby to lose against Barrington, even though like it's a very bad Division II team. But you know they got beat just right at the end. But that was a good rallying call for that squad. That they probably needed that. Otherwise, who knows if they would have like been able to take on Durant? All right, joined with by Coach Hagen. Coach, uh, you know Edgar. Two plays. They score right away at the beginning of the game. Talk about the resilience of this team to not just give up there and fight back and really hold Edgar. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we talked about that during the week. We talked about the team that's going to win is the team that's not going to flinch and it's not going to panic. Yeah, they got up on us right away, and I'm like, oh, boy. But our guys didn't panic. They, they figured it out, and our offense then came to life, and, and, and our defense played well for up most of the game, too. And I'll tell you the other thing that won this game that is our special teams. I mean, to limit... Edgar to not having any big kickoff returns or punt returns, that was that was another huge factor in this victory tonight. Um, talking about the defense, we're going to talk about a three-play stretch. You guys get a you know kind of a fluke tip interception, you know good tip drill move there. The quick pass to um, quick pass for the touchdown. Next play out for Edgar, you guys intercept again. Was how much of a momentum shift was that for you guys when you guys were able to do that in such quick succession? Yeah, it, it's all kind of a blur to me, honestly, Steve. <laughs> until I watched the film on how this all transpired, so I'm glad that you remember some of the stuff. But yeah, that interception on our sideline, where the guy kind of had our guy burned, you know, and he kind of bobbled it, and Weezy picked it off, and boy, if it wasn't for that, you know, could have could have been a different outcome. But it, again. You know, good players find ways to make plays, and you know, we just continue to find ways to make plays throughout the night. So, obviously, homecoming coming up next week, and then you know, a couple of big games yet. You know, is there any worry about the team maybe losing focus a little bit, getting the big win against Edgar here this early in the season? You know, I guess that it's not a concern of mine right now. We're going <laughs> to enjoy this victory, and uh, yeah, you, you never. Know, we'll, we'll talk about that come Monday. You know, talk. You know, it's homecoming week. It's a fun week for our players, so there will be a lot of distractions. But yeah, we're going to come Monday. It'll be business as usual and get down, you know, and we got to make sure they stay focused. All right, sounds good. Congrats on the win. Enjoy it. We'll Thank see you guys next week. Thanks for everything, Steve. All right, I'm going to come back upstairs. We're going to close it out with Matt and Wade here in just a moment. Coach finally started talking about him just last week, so. All right, you guys. Just come back upstairs. Wait, what? Hey, Ruben. Wait, are we on right now or no? We're going to a second, I guess. Okay. Hair and makeup, hair and makeup. Oh my gosh, I always look good. I don't have to worry about hair and makeup. That's right, no camera, no camera. Well, I don't know if we're, ta if we're talking or not. Uh, we always wait for Steve. 
<laughs> yeah, usually tells us if we're alive or not. I don't know, Brandon. Nope. Nope. Nope, not that hey, one. What do you got to show us? It's probably these two, huh? Oh, no. Yeah? Yeah? All right, maybe. I can't uh, we, tell. We hear it nonetheless. Could be live, could not be live. Is it this How can you tell? Hey, how about now? You know what's gonna be a what's gonna be a riot? It's been recording the whole entire time. Yeah, it's probably live right now. <laughs> well, it is pandemonium on the field right now. Oh, Steve, you show amazing hustle. <laughs> Comes out of nowhere. Oh, I, I got me. Oh, holy cow, Steve, you got right back up here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know if we're live or not. Yeah, we don't know what we're doing. Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, there you go. We've been live the whole time. <laughs> so can I um, can I just say? Such professional setup here for Ron Falk and stuff. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> no, I'm like, just kidding. Uh, how are you guys' editing skills on live? Uh... <laughs> We're pretty good. There's no, right. editing in, in, there's no editing in live. <laughs> <laughs> Go. So, Hagen did the classic Hagen response to you when you asked about Pittsville. Yep. I'm not even thinking about it. <laughs> I, I mean, and that's, that's cool. it's exactly what you expect from a coach. Oh, absolutely. But, like, that just shows... He is committed to the process. Like he's like a he's like a carpenter building steps. Yep. He wants to think about building that last step, but he's got to do it one step at a time. Uh, it's more of a routine, I bet, at this point. He's been doing it for so long. Just think of all the years he was underneath Rosemeyer. Like it's just it's... grind, grind, grind. It's a routine. And I think he had quite the childhood because he said that his dad lived on Lombardi time. Ooh. You know what that means? Uh, whipping stick. <laughs> <laughs> We're not saying that he got beat by his dad. <laughs> what we're saying is, oh, that's how we're going. If um, if his dad said you better be here at seven thirty, he had to be. Fifteen minutes early. Yeah, at seven fifteen. <laughs> really? No, I'm not. I'm not even kidding. Like, oh, that was a good. I guess remember that. there was a game. Hagen called me. Omakin, where are you? I'm like, I'm in the parking lot. He's like, you know, this starts at fifteen minutes. I'm like, yeah. We well, were supposed to be here. Like five minutes ago, I'm like we have 15 minutes. <laughs> he he is wired. He's a perfect head coach. Big score. Tell Mar me more. Marathon 56, Abbotsford 12. No Whoa. way. If no that, if that's way. that's reported right from Wiz Sports. That's got to be a typo. It's got to be. Reread it. I, I'm looking <laughs> at it right here. It's on. Reread it backwards. <laughs> Marathon. Wait, hold on. It's upside down. <laughs> no, seriously. If this is right, and this is inputted by the coaches, Marathon 56, Abbotsford 12. That's going to be the upset wow. of the season no, in all divisions. There's no way. So what that means is, is that Colby and Auburndale are the last two undefeated teams in the Marrowood. That's setting the stage for a big game, big and they game. face each other at the end of the season. Go well, right before playoffs. Oh, really? I mean, they still have to play Edgar. Who does? Auburndale. Auburndale. Uh, but okay. they get Edgar at home in a couple weeks. Yeah, but they've been seam rolling their own teams too. But yep. maybe they don't have the robust schedule either. But, but that was supposed to be said about this Edgar squad versus the Colby yep. scheduling. So I mean, that's out the window too. Yeah, strength Holy of scheduling smokes. is going yeah. to come into play. The what? Strength of scheduling is going to come into play if they can well, get past Edgar. Yeah. I mean, you look at it, they beat Hurley. That was their big test. Last week, they trucked Hurley Auburn in the second Dale. half. Auburndale did. So, I mean, don't, the idea that Auburndale is, that Edgar's just going to beat Auburndale, that's not there this year. Auburndale is very good. So we had core people coming back. You have a core of people coming back. You lost one major piece, Terrence Roberson. Yeah, but you got your, you got your stud quarterback. You got your stud Weber. quarterback. You've got three, four stud receivers, and you have a back that meshes better with um, Weber, because Weber is more of a shifty runner, and now and that was the same thing with Roberson. Now you've got a downhill power runner, more in the mold of like a Mateo Lopez. So that's a huge, huge. That's going to be a huge, huge deal there. But hmm. I suppose we should come back and talk about this one. I was going to say enough about that. We got some stats for you. Tell me more. So we'll start with the Edgar Wildcats. Uh, Tegan Strike, five of seventeen, one hundred and twelve yards, the two interceptions. Rushing, uh, Cole Weisenberger ends up leading the way. Three carries, 40 yards, and a touchdown. Tegan Streit, five carries, 34 yards. 
Carter bought 11 carries, 32 yards, 13 of that coming on one play. The Colby defense absolutely shut him down. And He'll Jace, never have a – I'll be shocked if he ever has yardage like down that low again. That yeah. was unbelievable. And Jace Affelbeck in the end there, one carry for zero yards. Receiving Cole Weisenberg, one catch for eight yards. Leighton Shewitt, two catches, 88 yards. He caught the two big bombs. Yep. He kept him in the game. And then Brett Bumgarner, one for eight. And then I have one that I didn't attribute properly. For Colby, Tucker Meyer, three of eight, 72 yards and two touchdowns. Wow. Um, Wait, how many yards again? 72. They had That's that pretty big solid, negative, but, yeah. man, I would have guessed a little bit more. Right. Well, they had I, that big, like, negative 10, 12-yard play. I was going to say, like, he should have had a 100-yard game the way that he was yeah. slinging it. Yeah. He should have had one. Well, um, we just need to throw it more. Eight, <laughs> eight <laughs> passes? Come on. Throw the ball. But when you've got Caden Healy, 26 carries, 190 yards, two touchdowns. What a big performance. Oh, it's like Bo Jackson up. performance right no there. No kidding. You know, we talked a little bit about Tevin Rue, six carries, 41 yards. Mateo Lopez, 9 for 38. Ivan Hemmer, the 1 for 16. Gavin Voss, the 1 for 10. And then Tucker Meyer, 3 carries for 0 yards. That includes the sack. Lopez had such a huge role in this game. So, like, he had 1 or 2 turnovers. 1 or 2 turnovers. Like, 1 or 2 interceptions. Yep. yep. Busted up plays. But when you think about, like, that, was the, that early stallment, or stalling of the Colby offense... That really played out big later in the first half and into the, or later in the first quarter, second quarter, because now all of a sudden Colby was able to bounce it to the outside and Lopez was able to pick up those hard-earned yards. If you didn't have that big downhill runner, Lopez, Mr. Iron Man out there, who knows how this could have went yeah. either. Healy could have got worn out early or something like that. Lopez was, and I'm not going to take anything from Rue either. Rue had big defensive plays. He had that busted up play on the pass. He had a big catch, I thought, from Tucker. No, that was all Robita. Sorry about that. But yeah, Lopez, he, that's like Mr. Iron Man out there. He didn't have the flashy stats, but no, he, he was, was getting a big utility Without portion Mateo of it. Without Mateo Lopez there, but, there's no way you get those runs to the outside. But gosh no, darn it, I would be, not free I would be remiss if, if I didn't give Caden Healy like the big pat on the back because... 21 carries, hard-earned runs, turn into big, open um, scampers, plus all the work he did on the defense. Dude, how did that kid even have any gas left in the tank? Yeah, he, he didn't even he, lay down once for uh, any cramps either. No kidding. <laughs> and he was so fired up uh, there at the end. You saw in the interview. I don't think he's sleeping tonight. He is he's so wired fired up. up. He is wired. I mean, he's going to TP so many houses. <laughs> oh, no. We got to hurry and get home. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to I'm gonna have to get the floodlights out. <laughs> okay, so, like, um, real quick. So, like, we kind of talked about our highlight okay, players. I'm going to just stop on that Abbotsford score because I'm looking at a lot of these scores that look wrong right now. So, I think there's an issue with the with sports. So the Russians have had <laughs> his sports. That's right. If you know for sure, drop it in the comments. If you know the score of that game. Yes, please. But no, we talked about like the two big or the impact players on the Colby side. You know, it, it, Edgar loss, but you know, there are some players over there I think that I would say should get highlighted. You know, Carter tried his darnest, wasn't quitting. He was fighting all the way to the end. Limp in there toward the end. But, man, what a performance by that Leighton Shewitt on the receiving end. Like, basically, he was the score he was the score because he yep. scampered in for the end zone. And he was the one that gave Edgar any kind of field possession. You know, he had those two big catches. And there were about five, six other times he was open. And Strike just didn't have the time to get him the ball. Exactly. And you saw the one there on that fourth down where Strite just got absolutely laid out by the defense. Mm -hmm. And that one, if if Strite has two more seconds, he lands that one for a touchdown. So now, Wade, I'd like to think I know who you're going to say who's the other big impact guy for Edgar. No. No. <laughs> he was on the defensive side. I'm trying to bait you into saying the answer that I want to say. That you want me to say it? So I know, I know that we're all thinking the same name. Let's just say it at the same time. One, Steve? one, We're all thinking the same two, three. three. Higgins. Bumgartner. Duh. <laughs> Bumgartner. 
Bumgarner more in the second half. I mean, he really was uh, all over the place. It was a tale of two different halves. Higgins had first half. Yes, 100%. Bumgarner, he was the last man standing, and he was the one that was bringing – he was he, he was, was running the guy all that was like, field. I'm stuffing yes. the line right here. And, you know, we do have to talk about it too. The other player we had to talk about, Tucker Brost. One of Bounce one on field Colby. goals, three of four on extra points. He had that one blocked. Was it blocked though, or did he just kick in the back of somebody? It technically goes down as a block. Well, I'm. <laughs> but not only that with the field goals, which that was important, because like especially like right there when Colby was able to like put those extra points on after those touchdowns. But like field positioning, because he was also punter. Yes. Yeah. Pinning Edgar back, they never got a. They never had a head start. Yes, I agree. They were no. They didn't get to start in very good field position, any time at point of this game. And it was just kind of like um. Maybe it wasn't so obvious. Like, in that Loyal game, those guys were shrugging their shoulders once the ball was up in the air because they knew the ball was going out of bounds. Yeah. But, like, even those Edgar guys, once that ball was coming down, they were already just turning towards the sideline because yep. they're like, whatever. Oh. This team, this Colby team is different. It is. And I'm saying this, like, comparing it with, like, uh, saying this, like, from last year's team, too. This one's got its own little flair. So I just got an update. I don't have a final score, yep. but Abbotsford was down 32-6 at half. So that so that score probably is correct. That probably is correct. I just can't believe that. So Abbotsford goes is down. Is Marathon be that much better this year? They have looked better, but, I mean, Abbotsford was – that is a huge upset. And that's really – I mean, Abbotsford was ranked. What were they ranked? The Abbotsford was number 10 in Division, division they 6. Were, they were wow. your top – they were like – um. Your top four in they the Merrillwood, and four. they were one of the teams. You said like you take any of these teams, plug them into another conference, they'll win that conference. I just can't. That is unbelievable. So you have to wonder if something happened there, but going, but either way, like an injury, maybe. But either way, that sets. I mean, that sets up that Auburndale game. Here's one thing though. So just looking at Marathon, 800 yards passing on the season. They probably it. just bombed it. Oh, uh, we don't have to play them, do we? Yeah. Yeah. There. Oh. Again, second year in a row. Are we going to cover that one? I love passes. But that's not currently on our schedule. Aww. But we might have to. That might change. Colby at Marathon, September 30th. Yep. That'll give you some time to chew on that. That's a beautiful. Wait, have you ever been there? Uh, I, I've been to Marathon before. I don't know if I've ever been to their beautiful football stadium. stadium. Yeah. If they, but the three people that are left listening. <laughs> yeah, no if you've never been to the mar a marathon game, that stadium, the way it's laid out in that field, you'd be hard pressed to find a, a better looking. Is one. it built into the the side of the mountain? It is. Yes. Is it really it's built into the side of the <laughs> hill? And then when Colby won that game last year, it um it was a little bit wet. They were belly sliding down the hill, and then Hagen yelled out like. Guys, knock off your money up your jerseys. Get out of the bus. <laughs> I think I do remember this one. I think I. I remember that, that game because it was just that. All, yeah, but no, we've been there a few times. It is a gorgeous facility. We will definitely be looking at that one now. That game just got a whole lot more interesting. I was just saying, you got you have another week to kind of pan that out because yep. yeah, marathon three and two on the season, massive passing yards and statistics. Leading receiver and leading passer in the Marrowwood both belong to marathon. And I wonder if that's what happened. Abbotsford didn't have. I'm. Th I don't know. Everybody, I'm purely speculating. But if I had to wager, Marathon said, "We're bombing it." Yep. Hail Marys, all game. We're airing yep. it out. And if they wanna, they wanna jump ball on us or try to match our speed, go for it. And I think Abbotsford couldn't yeah. possibly cover them all. That's just my so, prediction. Yeah. So that's gonna. That game, like I said, that game just got a whole lot more interesting. So. We might have the rest of your rest of the Colby season. Oh, let's see. Well, anything else, guys? I think we're good. Um, just reminder to check out the highlights later tonight at Sports on Focus on Facebook, and we will um, have highlights from the Smiley Meet tomorrow. So make sure to check those out as well. Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Matthew Olmekin, sitting alongside my middle brother Wade Olmekin. We're of the Hornets Nest, and we want to say a special thanks to Steve for on Focus, Brandon in the house down on the sideline taking some great pictures and some great video um can't say enough to on focus thanks for coming here to edgar setting this up so we can bring the viewership of this excellent game to the fandom of the wildcats and the hornets to wherever they're calling home and whatever they call their device